Mama's birthday, and boom, I got left, I saw the worst way. Like, niggas seen dry with Doomsday. And it's sad, I said it was her, and shit was low, and ain't through straight. This shit got poked, he's drilled on the strip. Cause she can't walk, cause he don't got a quick. Stop making songs, go get a grip. Niggas so mad, she ain't dumped the whole clip. Bitch, I don't run, I'm letting it rip. Like, silly be can't they know I'm missed. They be dripping at this. How you coming, I'm coming like this. All these bitches just call it quits. Man, I'm foul, you know we gon' blitz. Fuck me, she keep getting that hat. Time it is the world's greatest goddamn streamer. It ain't even close, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with another goddamn classic. Hey, yo. <laughs> I know y'all been waiting, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest, the king of girl world is back at it again. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Got the shark. What's up, shark? Hey, let me let y'all know right off the rip. This is about to be a good stream, y'all. So I uh, hope y'all prepared. I hope y'all got your popcorn ready. It's Sunday. So it's a uh, drag Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> Call it something. Um... Right off the rip, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if y'all been living under a rock, uh, just breezing and uh, busy little bee, <laughs> the war has started. Let's go. Sunshine, sun with face, jewelry <laughs> has become a member. Police yes. light. Let's go. Oh, oh. Four Police months. Light. Thank you for all you. All, thanks to all the people that remember i i really appreciate it four months thank you very much sun sunshine um but first let's uh get started on some very sad news um uh yaba and sam uh went to a whole new low the other day if you've been living on a rock yaba and sam decided again to uh drag a dead person that's right um here is, let's play this real quick. Here is Yaba and Sam. I, I mean, at this point, I'm not really surprised, uh, but, you know, uh, this is just kind of their new norm now, just just to find anything, you know. Um, I guess they're trying to go viral. I don't know what it is, but here they are uh, dragging a dead person again. Roll it. Life by Jen, and it's been very hard Life for her since Jen. Jen has passed, yeah. and she wanted a way to uh, remember her. Mm. And, and through certain times, right, Sam? Well, more so, I just want to make sure she shows up for the medium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she wants her to show up for the medium. God. Sad. Very sad. The fact that, the fact that I thought that every, I thought that we was 
dragging Foodie Beauty and these people for their behavior, yet the reactors behave like this. What can this person do to you now that she's no longer living? Is she hurting anybody? No. But Sam needs to make a candle of her, laugh at her, and then maybe she might reappear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to say no. Well, hey, man, the Not Our Jesus Burrito Prayer it, Candle worked twice. Not once. You could say it but, was a coincidence. It was a fluke. Twice? Yeah, but that's different, though. Like, that's because, like, the Not Our Burrito Prayer, like, candle mm -hmm. image just came to us. Mm -hmm. Miss Anne's the one that spotted that, by the way. Mm -hmm. It came to us in a video. Like, the actual not- But again, like I said, these two want you to believe that Foodie Beauty is the sick one. <laughs> That's what they want you to believe. <laughs> it's Foodie Beauty who is sick, not us. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's talk about a dead woman real quick, huh? <laughs> let's make some, let's, uh, let's make a candle of a dead woman and Hopefully we light it and she comes back a lot. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Um, but that's not the only thing. <clears throat> Let's get to... Uh, is this the one? Let me see. Uh, I got it all lined up. Uh, let's talk about, real quick, too slick, white on white crime. <laughs> let's, let's laugh real quick. Let's talk about white on white crime. Now, the other day, right, Gaining Ground was reacting to Sam. Uh, uh, well, reacting to Yaba. And Sam decided to react to uh, Gaining Ground. Now, what was funny about this was Gaining Ground got Bob Marley's song wrong, right? And Sam started clowning Gigi for getting who wrote the song wrong. Now, you're going to watch white on white crime here. Now, if you're going to clown somebody about getting something wrong, you better make sure you get the shit right. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Everybody knows that Bob Marley song. Even, even, you know, but Sam. <laughs> Sam clown Gigi for not knowing who made the song, but then she totally gets the song wrong. Watch this white on white crime. You're going to fucking laugh your ass off. Roll it. Be anything on this platform. Add it not be for Chandel. Right. There's a re mm, what's your point? The fact that Yaba was able to create a successful channel where upwards of 2,000 people tune in five days a week to watch our live stream. Yaba created a successful channel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow, congratulations. <laughs> she massaged the zombies. <laughs> yeah, she look at what Yaba has done. <laughs> My girl is so successful. <laughs> you proud of that? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> High five. Don't leave me hanging, Sam. Don't leave. Okay. <laughs> you left me hanging a little while, but uh, all right. I was up there for a little bit. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um <laughs> oh, man, hold on. Let me go ahead and yeah, let me go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Talk to us about uh, Bob Marley. So fucking weird. What was that from? Stand up. Stand up for your rights. Was that? This is what I'm talking about. White on white crime. <laughs> yeah. Gigi didn't even know who sang the song. <laughs> he said, stand up for your right. Who wrote that song? <laughs> who wrote that? <laughs> go ahead. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for your rights. Was that stand a PSA standing. from the 80s? Why is that in my head? Stand up, stand up, stand up <laughs> for your rights. Somebody help me out in chat. At least minimum making $100 per video. Okay. His background, his background is even freaking pickle brain jelly sandwiches. Like nothing original at all whatsoever. Nothing. Okay. So if she, and then she also goes live sometimes on top of the pre-recorded videos. Oh, was it Bob Marley? <laughs> but I thought they used, did they use that in a PSA? <laughs> white on white crime, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that Bob Marley? <laughs> no, that was funny right there. Now, watch Sam's reaction to him getting it wrong. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Here we go. 
Get up, stand up. I'm going to Google it. I think that was used in the PSA in the 80s. Well, you bought Barley Song, but wasn't that used in a PSA? I'm just going to Google it. But we'll still- oh my God, it's not a fucking PSA. Is he fucking serious, dude? Hmm. Just estimate. Yeah, it's get up, stand up, stand up for your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't I cry? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, how the fuck do you clown somebody for getting it wrong? <laughs> and you said, get up, stand up for your life? <laughs> Not your life, dog. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> How do you, ma'am, 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 white woman, white woman from Indiana, listen. <laughs> How are you going to clown another white person for getting it wrong, but you didn't even have it right yourself? <laughs> Get up, stand up for your life, though. <laughs> You could never. <laughs> you could never. Oh, <laughs> you should have left. You should have left this roast out. You should have just completely walked away from this one. You should have. If you didn't know what you was talking about, you should have just walked away. <laughs> you should have just said, "Listen, listen. I don't know what I'm talking about here, but you know, <laughs> get up, stand up for your life, though." <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> she not only gets it wrong once, but she gets it wrong twice. <laughs> she gets the second verse wrong. <laughs> Five memberships, Kimmy. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Five gifted. God damn it. Stand up for your life. <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Stand up for your life. <laughs> All the new five gifted ladies and gentlemen, stand up for your life. <laughs> stand up for your life. She just changed the whole lyrics. <laughs> Why don't I <white> cry, y'all? <laughs> stand up for your life. You got to get it right, Gigi. <laughs> That's crazy. Even my guela I know that. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> How y'all fuck up Bob Marley? That's crazy. <laughs> what, did, what did Bob Marley do? <laughs> y'all could have left my man alone. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Let's go. Just estimate. That's crazy. That's crazy. I caught that shit on camera, too. That's wild. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked my nigga up real quick. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Two white people getting it wrong about Bob Marley is crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it's get up, stand up, stand up for your life. <laughs> moron. Is he? He's googling it. He's googling it. Did she just call him a moron when she got it wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's get up, stand up, stand up for your life, moron. <laughs> what? <laughs> Moron! <laughs> you, gotta be, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> did, did you finish with moron? <laughs> That's crazy, man. That is crazy. I cannot believe that. Ah, oh, that is crazy. I cannot believe she just did that. Oh man. <laughs> She said, moron. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, get up, stand up, stand up for your life, moron. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, oh, she really said that and said that out loud. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let me go grab. Uh, hold on. Let me, go, let me grab something real quick. <laughs> let me, hold on real quick. Real quick commercial break. Let me grab something. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Swoop up. I, you know, that's a whole lot of FUPA. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Don't be talking about my family. 
Do not be talking about my family, bitch. Fucking lying cunt, hussy. Did you I call, her? call her out? Your mother is a cunt, bitch. Well, fuck you too. Fuck you too. Fuck you too. And your family. Can you mute him when he talks about my daughters? Because I won't have it. You're a Hello, everybody. This is Miss Hussey. And welcome back to another video with me. You guys, this is my new channel. Okay? The other one I had got yeeted. <laughs> I don't... <coughs> I'm so tired. The other one got yeeted, but I... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Mohammed. Thank you so much for watching. You're in blackface, bitch. <laughs> He gave us the middle finger. I'll get up and leave. I'll get up and leave. What are you saying? What are you saying? I fucking finished what I'm saying? Sure. I thought you went to <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so she can wipe the floor. Ah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Mm. I had to get something to drink. Oh, man. It was dry. But that shit is hilarious. The fact that you got it wrong and you call somebody else a moron is crazy. <laughs> Get up, stand up for your life. Wow. And right now, your life. I, I got to hear that again. Just estimate. Yeah, it's get up, stand up, stand up for your life. Moron. Is he, he's Googling it. He's Googling it right now. You don't have Just to, be on huh, the safe Sam? Side. You know that it. She's about $100 per video. <laughs> Ooh. Rissa says, Gigi must be fake gay, kind of like he accuses others. Oh. The seven days that she can't go live. Seven times 100 is $700 that Chantel is going to be short on her paycheck. So let's say. I think he just whispered PSA. I think he's literally Googling and including PSA in there. Was that not? Did I just make that up? I thought they used it in a Does anybody remember? Okay, Rio, it sounds familiar, right? Why but what don't was like Rio sounds familiar. What was it for, though? Fucking Bob Marley, dude. That Chantel makes <laughs> around 700. <laughs> Sam is like, it's got, it's, it's Bob Marley, dude. Get up, stand up for your life. Everybody knows that. <laughs> to a thousand. Does he ever get it? I haven't watched this far. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if both <laughs> eyes are open. Dollars per week. Okay. All right, so seven times four is twenty eight hundred dollars. Let's let's bump her up to to, to what to thirty five hundred dollars. Man, I might be on the high end at this point. Katie okay. Cake says it's actually stand up for your rights and stand up for the fight. Thank you. Somebody corrected her wrong. <laughs> Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights and stand up for the fight. It's don't give up the fight. <laughs> white on white crime <laughs> it's literally don't give up the fight I can't do this <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> how does the person how does the person correct Correct you, but then get it wrong. <laughs> this is white on white crime, y'all. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> these people are literally dumb. <laughs> these, just please, like, why are y'all fucking up this? Oh, I never thought I'd see the day where people fuck up Bob Marley, but <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> Yo, mama, do you play the drums? No. <laughs> that was just for the, um, I just had the drum thing just for the, uh, you know, uh, the Wayne's World shit. <laughs> oh, that shit is funny, man. That is hilarious. <laughs> How are they so wrong? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 that's right. I got it wrong. That's right. <laughs> and then that person got it wrong. <laughs> I got to hear that again. <laughs> I got to hear that again. $2,800. Let's, let's bump her up to, to, to what? To $3,500? Man, I might be on the high end at this point. Katie Cake okay. says it's actually stand up for your rights and stand up for the fight. Thank you. And stand up for the fight? <laughs> Those lyrics are trash. <laughs> Nobody would ever listen to that song if it went like that. <laughs> it's don't give up the fight. Come on, y'all. <laughs> 
How did y'all have time to look it up and get it wrong? That's crazy. <laughs> These are the people that be at a concert, don't know none of the lyrics, and offbeat. That's them. <laughs> That's Sam, like this. Get up, stand up for your life. <laughs> what? What did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I'm ser I'm serious. That's embarrassing. <laughs> you can't clown somebody for getting it wrong when you don't even know what you're talking about. And then your chat don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> it's the most vanilla chat I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they're, 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 I told you, like I said, people, these people don't get outside. These people don't have a life outside of this. They don't. <laughs> If they did, they come on. If you don't know the lyrics and you clowning somebody for not knowing Bob, my, Bob Marley song when you don't even know Bob Marley song yourself, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then you tried to correct them and you corrected them and you got it wrong twice. <laughs> just you should have just moved on from the conversation. You know nothing about Bob Marley. You know nothing about the music. Just say that you from Indiana and you listen to, uh, 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 I don't know, whatever you listen to, but. Uh, Speaking on something you don't know and clowning somebody for not knowing the same thing you don't know is crazy. <laughs> but go ahead. Well, did I just make that up? I don't think I did, though. Was it for voting? I don't that know. That's right. It was. I don't know. Right. Okay, let's say she made <laughs> it for voting. He even fucking Googled and still didn't come up with it, probably because he's Googling the wrong words. <laughs> is it for voting? And he's not watching his chat because I can see in the chat now. I can see in the chat people telling him Bob Marley song, BM, Bob Marley. Sounds familiar, GG. To Lady Starfire, was it used to promote voting? Everyone frantically Googling. Aunt Maddie, I think it was a voting campaign. Kitty1838 for voting in 2020. Are we serious? Makes around $3,500. Yeah. A month. You yeah. take away $700 mm -hmm. from 35. Like I said, white on white crime. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred dollars. That's twenty eight hundred dollars. Okay. I am actually shocked she was able to do that math, but I... she literally clowned somebody and didn't know what the hell she was talking about. That's wild. <laughs> get up, get up, stand up for your life. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's not the only thing. Uh, Yaba and Sam was going at it. <clears throat> they was going at it today. Uh, they were talking about, and I wanted to prove this. Thank you. Thank you. Yaba exposed herself today. She proved everything that I said was correct. <clears throat> In this video, you're going to listen to Yaba say that she absolutely doesn't have a life. And then we're going to talk about why, why we mentioned the part where you don't have a life is concerning because the way you talk about Chantel. Now listen to this real quick. This is her today. Roll it. I guess when you have no life in the social circle, no friends, um, nobody calls you out for dinner, no one invites you anywhere except for the top of all drive-thru. I guess if that is he fucking kidding me, Taz D, thank you so much for the super chat prosthetic guy. Where does he get this from? Where does he get where does this come from? Listen, remember at the beginning of the stream, he was talking about how you had to show off your, you know, you had to post your vacation on Twitter so people know that you have a life. Dude, that's what he does. That's how he starts every fucking stream, talking about, I was out to dinner. I was out to dinner. Mm. I've been out to dinner. I've gone out to dinner. Dude, I, don't, I was I out don't, to dinner. I don't go out to dinner very often with family and friends. I don't oh. go to, I, very, very rare do I go to my friend's house unless it's a birthday or a holiday right. or the 4th of fucking July. Right. Because why? Because my family is here. Oh. We've got school. We've got sports activities. We've mm -hmm. got after school events. We've got mm -hmm. work. I've got a wife. We've got chores. We've got laundry. I, I, I'm not a single woman. Mm. I can't just, you know, wait around for Lisa to call me and say, hey, bitch, you want to go out for drinks tonight? And I'm like, bitch, between us, we've got like eight kids. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I can't afford that life. I'm cooking fucking spaghetti, spaghetti. And, and, and garlic bread and salad, motherfucker. But yes, call me on Liam's birthday or call me on fucking Keegan's birthday or, or, or Layla's birthday or she's going off to college and we're fucking celebrating her mom's anniversary or mom. Like, that's when I'm getting together with my people. And that's imagine how it is with most families. Am I going out daily and weekly with friends and family? They're here. No. Yeah, I mean, Gina comes over a lot. I mean, but I, that don't count. Like, she's like immediate family now. But as far as me going out for dinner with like my aunt or 
my friends and shit. Those are special occasions. No, I have a life. Like, yeah. dude, I barely have time to fucking wipe my ass. No, I'm not going out with motherfuckers daily or even weekly. No, you're right. I guess and if that makes me a loser, then so fucking be it. Thank you. That rant right there proves everything we've been talking about, Yaba. You don't got a life. You sit at home. You don't go to dinners. You, you make spaghetti. Now, this is the problem we have. <clears throat> the hypocrisy. If you're just a homebody and you don't do nothing and you don't go nowhere and you, you know, like you said, you can barely wipe your ass and all everything is at home. Then why the fuck do you go so hard at Chantel? Huh? Why do you talk about Chantel? Why don't you get up and do something? Chantel, why are you in the house? Chantel, why are you just um in the curtains? Chantel just went to the mall. That's it. You just walked around the mall a couple of times. Chantel flew to Kuwait. Oh, uh, uh. You talk shit about another woman and you say she's boring and she doesn't do shit, yet you do less. That doesn't make any sense. See, that's why we talk about you not having a life. See, I can see if you was a a, a traveler, somebody that got out, went outside, got on planes and flew places and came back and 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 walked around and went to. I can we can understand if you had some concerns about Chantel just sitting at her house just eating. Wait, it and I told the chat this a long time ago. I said that these people that react to Foodie Beauty, they are living through food feudy beauty. And y'all laughed at me for it. But is this not true? Yaba ain't got nothing to do. She can barely wipe her ass. The only thing she could do is watch Chantel's life and go, well, I'm living through you. Because I can't fly. I can't go to Kuwait. I can't go on a trip. I only went on one trip, and that was because I got married. I can't do the thing. I can't go on. I can't go to restaurants. I can't go to dinner. But instead of giving props to somebody for doing that, you shit on her for doing it. Salah takes her on a date. You laugh at her. What kind of places he took her to? Why did he take her there? Her anniversary? He only got those flowers? You see what I'm talking about, Yaba? That's why they criticize you. You can't sit there and talk shit about another woman sitting at home and eating when you do the same fucking thing. Matter of fact, you do it more. She goes out more than you. And you want to talk about how boring she is? Oh, you don't do nothing? Get out the house. Do something. When you speak to Chantel and you tell her, get out the house and do something, are you talking to Chantel? Or are you talking to yourself? Because that's what I think it is. I think when you're yelling at Chantel about doing something, going somewhere, you're really yelling at yourself. You really trying to Tell yourself, like, I wish I can go somewhere. I wish I can go to the mall. I wish I can go to Kuwait. I wish I could hop on a plane, go somewhere for a long period of time and come back. All the things that you want to do, she's doing it. And now, with this rant right here, it proves it. You're frustrated. I can't do anything. I got to, only thing I could do is make spaghetti without the meatballs and garlic bread. I got a, this family, I got this wife, I got, I ain't got nothing. So I'm going to hate on somebody else. That's what this is. So y'all just heard that rant right there, right? Y'all saw, y'all just heard how frustrated she is. The hypocrisy. Amon Avis donated $4.99 through Super Chat. She doesn't have a life because she's busy stalking Chantal. Exactly. You can have a family and still have time for that stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Thank you, Amon. That's facts. This whole time, you talking shit about somebody sitting at home and just eating themselves to death or whatever the shit that comes out of your mouth, but yet you do the same thing. You ain't got time. You ain't got time to go to these places. You ain't got time to move around. You ain't... You can't criticize, at this point, you're just a hater. You can't criticize somebody for doing the same thing that you're doing. Matter of fact, you're doing it even more. You're doing it even, you're doing it even more. You just said you were homebody. You just had a whole ass rant. I can't go out. I can't even wash my ass. I gotta make uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. She slams in the other room. She's in making tumblers. I can't do nothing. I want to go outside. I want to go to Kuwait. I want to fly. But I can't do absolutely nothing. So I'm going to hate on somebody else that is. 
When was the last time I've been on the plane? It's, I've never been on one. I gotta be at home. I gotta eat. I gotta eat, 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 zigzaggy thing I hate time to go through security so I made it through security and uh, I'm a little dizzy adjusting to my glasses but I'm gonna get a water I'm so thirsty the duty-free place here where you have to show your passport to get a water look at more tang all right let's go get a eight dollar water uh, than what it was when she left Canada um, but you got to understand, she doesn't need, what did she have when she was in Canada? She had what, a two bedroom, three bedroom. She doesn't have to get a place that big. I mean, she doesn't have to worry about, you know, having room for kids. Look it, look it. Criticizing her for getting on a plane. Mm -mm -mm. When we all know you can't get on one. Hey, Frick. Chubby. She packed her pickle foot and went home. Man, the screens are so Hey, Nikki P. So small, and the entertainment system is of poor quality on Lufthansa. So I decided to try and watch Wonka, but I don't like musicals and I don't like Timothy Chalamet. They also gave us some dusty um, dates. Well, look at you, Mrs. Negative. Small screen, the sound sucks, and I don't like musicals. Someone in her chat said that- She doesn't even know what to criticize anymore. <laughs> Mrs. Stay at home, make spaghetti and garlic bread. Barely got time to wash her ass. Y'all telling me this woman is not jealous? I know, I know it sounds funny. I know it does. But you just heard her rant. You just heard her get upset and mad about her life. Being not able to go to dinner. Not able. I ain't got time. I can't go with friends. I can't go nowhere. So what did she do? She watches Chantel, who actually got on an air, got on an airplane, walked around the airport, flew from Kuwait to Canada. Long trip. Canada back to Kuwait. Mall, Thailand. She sees all of this and makes fun of her for actually moving around. Now, it doesn't matter how big she is or how fat she is, but she actually is getting around. She's actually doing things. Things that she wishes she could do. It's kind of silly to make fun of somebody sitting and always saying she's always sitting on her ass and she's eating and she's always at home when you're doing it. Doesn't make any sense. The hypocrisy is out of control. I'm just showing you. That's why when I heard that rant, I was like, she exposed herself. She didn't. Ex nobody has to expose Yaba. She exposed herself. She just told you her daily life. And how frustrated she is with it. She ain't got time to be out with her friends. I got eight kids between me and my other friend. We can't do shit. I can't wipe my ass. I got a woman. I got this. I got th that. sounds like a person that want to get out. I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free. <laughs> you sound like one of those people that watch these sitcoms and these people buying shit and going vacations and going, I hate that person. That person stinks. <laughs> you one of those. You want to break free. I get it. <clears throat> you know what's crazy, though, is, is everything you just described. That is your life, right? You're like, th that's you saying, this is my busy ass life. Let me break yeah. it down for you. This is why my life is so busy. But he tries to say, because he is 30 something years old. No, he's single. 40. He's oh, 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 that's right. Oh my God. 40 something years Bro old. Is older than single, me. Yeah. Never been married. No children. His yeah. family is half in the fucking grave, whatever the case may be. His sister does hates him. So yeah. because he still has two or three yeah. friends out of his friend circle who were who will tolerate him and invite him to tag along when they go out to dinner. That that is him having a life and you don't. It's the exact fucking opposite. Number one. Number two. See, I see this is the thing where Sam and Yaba don't even get the point. The point he's making is you sit there all day and speak on a woman being boring, sitting in her car, 
are eating at our house when you do the same thing. You say Foodie Beauty don't got a life, but you also don't got one. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. If you want to take care of family, sit at home and, and make spaghetti and do all that stuff that you do, that's fine and dandy. But to sit there and criticize another woman for doing the same thing, matter of fact, getting out more than you, and then when she gets out, you want to talk shit about her getting out. She took a vacation to Thailand. Oh, I love that. She's on a visa run. Sugarfoot. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. And I'm like, at least she actually took a flight somewhere. Where have you gone? You can't. It's, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to understand. That's what the point he's trying to make. He's trying to say, you got so much to say about this woman not having a life and her life is shit and she's unhappy. And then here you are, we listen to your rant and you sound like you're very unhappy. I ain't got time to wash my ass. Hmm, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Five gifted by pets. Come on, pets. Pets know what I'm talking about. Pets know what I'm talking about. She travel, she go out, she's outside, she's walking around, she's eating pizzas. You know what I mean? Going to Chicago, back to where she lives, going here, visit, traveling and walking around, seeing the world. Now imagine if there was somebody out there that was watching Pet's video and don't and and absolutely just a homebody talking shit about her vacations. Ugh, look at her eating that pizza. Ugh, look at look at the way she's um um walking and walking down the street and 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 looking at people. Imagine somebody that just sits at home criticizing another person that's getting out because that doesn't sound like somebody that doesn't look that doesn't sound like somebody that dislikes what Pete's is doing. That sounds like jealousy. That sounds like I wish I could do that. I wish I can go out. I wish I can get on a plane and go somewhere, but I can't. I'm held down here. And I know what that feels like having a family. Sometimes you do feel like, damn, I wish I could, you know, go out with my buddies tonight, or I wish I could do this, I wish I could. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice, and that's cool. Family and, and, and your kids and all that stuff at the end, it's all worth it. But I'm not gonna sit here on my channel and watch somebody who don't got kids, who's allowed, who's able to travel, go around the world, walk places, and, and see things that I'm never gonna see, and, and talk shit about them. That's just stupid. That's dumb. It's just, it just sounds like you're just jealous and you're just angry with your life. When we heard that rant, you can barely wipe your what well, you can barely wipe your ass without having you. That just tells me everything. I'm not criticizing somebody for traveling the world. I'm bigging them up. Hey, congratulations! Go to Kuwait. Go to Canada. I wish I was there. But that's what Yaba does, and then she wants to shit on somebody for doing something more than her. It don't matter if she's fatter than you. It doesn't matter if she's 50 or 60 pounds fatter than you. At least she's moving. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but only in this universe. It's only in this universe, right? The haters are just haters. <laughs> uh, well, 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 well. I'm not jealous. <laughs> You're not jealous? <laughs> Sounds like it. Dude, there's a reason why you're down to maybe two or three friends who will still tolerate your ass because we've seen video of the way you behave when you're out to dinner with your friends and their families and their children. Most people in their 40s have families and children. And, and you know what, though? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Most people have family and children. Everybody can make their own choice if they want to have families, they want to have kids or not. That's, that's their own choice. We can't clown nobody for not having children at 40. What is that? <laughs> Half your audience don't have children. That's crazy. That's crazy. You just said that. You just dissed your whole audience. That's wild. <laughs> well, yeah, at most people at 40. <laughs> okay, that congratulations to you. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy for you, but it sounds like your girl's not too happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, mm, that's not why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. We're here today because it's an emergency stream, like I said. Just breezing goes off on Busy Little B. The dragging, lady, ladies and gentlemen, if you've missed it, Just Breezing's stream on Busy Little B was crazy. <laughs> it's some WrestleMania kind of thing going on. Yeah, brother. <laughs> here, is, here is Just Breezing going off 
on Busy Little B. I mean, this is the war of the filters, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is a filter war. <laughs> filter queens right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Battle of the filters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> here we go. Roll it. I think we should look at it. Um, and before I get there, hi, Busy Little Bee, whose entire channel is about me. There should be Ooh. no problem about me talking about you, right? Oh. Right. Uh -oh. I mean, I would hate to have to go through your videos. You uh -oh. know, three strikes, you're out, baby. Oh. There should be no issue with me talking about somebody who constantly lies about me. Talk to him. There should be okay. no issue. Oh. All right. And plus, all of the stuff I'm going to talk about is posted on public platforms for the world to see. And the arrests are public information. So, before we get to the foodie stuff, I'd like to show you Mr. B. Uh -huh. I'll show what I can actually on that part. Um, so here's my little tweet that will stay pinned to my profile for, I'm going to say probably the next three months. Let wow. me tell you about who Wait busy little B is. First of all, Oh, tell us. she watches what tweets I like, right? Uh -huh. Like I could be on Twitter minding my own business. She's liking the tweet. She's watching the tweets that I like, right. like whatever I'm doing, she is talking about, right? Which I don't care. Like her she's talking about me, much. like she's my biggest fan. Like she knows when I go for scooter rides, she covers them. She thought it was really funny when a stroke victim fell off an electric scooter that. <laughs> Just breeze in. No, you're not about to tell us you're a stroke victim. Please stop the cap. Please stop the cap. Please stop the cap. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How dare you guys make fun of a stroke victim? I'm dead. I'm dead. Stop the cap. What is going on here? <laughs> She's, a She's a stroke victim. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Now she's a victim, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> How dare you laugh at somebody who's a who's a stroke victim, a stroke survivor? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Show us, show us the paperwork, please. <laughs> show us the show us the paperwork, please. Sorry, my little one had my little one are trying to come over here. Hold on, let, she got we, she going to the beach real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her get her surfboard. I'll be right back. She a little. Ah. Why is he shirtless so. with three known homos? You're listening. To what <laughs> no, not really. I just kind of jumped on there. I... <laughs> Howdy. Um, bitch, you haven't sucked cock the cocks that I've sucked. Okay, the <laughs> bitch. Are you gonna quit, bitch? Are you gonna you quit, quit, bitch? You gonna quit, bitch? No. You gonna quit, I'm bitch? You about to quit, bitch? You about to quit, quit, bitch? Yado, when I come to Vegas, you better fuck me good, bitch. She's too skanky and cheap to get a hotel. Oh, hold it. Ricky fucking can't camera. stand you, fuck. <laughs> Yado, I had a wet dream of you. And you fucking came in my mouth. <laughs> we started talking about Duche yesterday, Bouquet. Oh, I don't want it to start. Yo, this is the size of um, Dredger's penis. Oh, if anybody's interested, Chica, this is exactly what his penis looks like. Here. Okay, see, I love it. It's always sex, pain. Are you gonna you quit, bitch? You gonna quit, bitch? No. You gonna quit, I'm bitch? A you you no fucking you. <laughs> dogs, bitch. Hello, bulls. Cause she's a damn no good has it. Treasure, go get a life, bitch. <laughs> no one's gonna give you forty dollars here. Next, Huzzy is the Kevin Gates of YouTube. He got two phones. You look great. Say hello to my people. Yeah. Hello, people. Oh. There you go. Countless times. The only reason DCA logs him the way she does is because of this. He takes. 
Oh, my stars, no. Tragic is the one that started saying he's taking me behind the bodega. He's fucking me behind the bodega. <laughs> he fucked me. I got triplets and this, that, the other. Okay? Yeah, I got a whole... I... Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? I do got a utero. And I'm pregnant and I'm carrying Tragic's children. And I'm pregnant with three. Like, like, oh my God, I want to suck all your dicks. <laughs> Kiss my ass. How does my ass taste, hussy? Okay. Hello, Jasmine. Num num. No, no, Shut the I fuck wasn't... up and don't talk to her like that. Listen, Jill. Okay, like hold on. Me. Mute that. Can can you mute that freak? No. Well, I... Look, I'm gonna eat them shrimp. I ain't letting them shrimp go bad. Ugh, excuse me. I'm gonna eat. Them. Okay, so this is eight inches, just the size that I like the penises. I like the penises eight inches. This is eight inches. So every time I grab this, I'm going to think I'm grabbing a penis. Not hey, y'all. Just grow. I have all tender has final say. He wants you gone. Please. Go oh, fuck yourself. I'm so sorry to hear that, boo. I wasn't filming you. Oh my star. I'm so sick of these folks showing this shit on TV. I'll be embarrassed. Do you see that the apology had happened? And he hung up on your ass when you called him. Fifi. Hello. Hey Scott, you see this? I wipe my ass with your shit. Hello everybody. Welcome to my brand new channel, y'all. So some of y'all may say, oh my style, you look very familiar. And yes, I do. You know why? I am Miss Huzzy's twin sister. Yes, I am. Here. I'm so sorry. Here's a kiss for you, Nax. Ew! Oh, I thought that was true. Ew! Oh, you. Everyone says about you your lifestyle as well, Huzzy, that you're going out, living your best Where's my firearm? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'll teach you how to fucking do a blowjob. <laughs> Spank! <laughs> what the fuck you got to say now? What the fuck you got to you say now? Shut the fuck up? Uh, excuse me. Uh, mass doll. Hello. Don't change the subject, you fucking bitch. Hello, everybody. This is Miss Henry, Miss Huzzy's twin sister. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? You're, You're wrong. wrong. Yeah, bitch. You look so hot. He said, ah, oh, I bet he do. Y'all, I sat there for half an hour. I couldn't fart. I couldn't poop. Nothing. I'm sorry, FFG, but you ain't nothing to look at. I'm just coming, being honest. Okay, and he my bookie. Bridget, the <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. Oh, honey, I'm gorgeous, bitch. I'm gorgeous. I make fun of your looks and your mother's looks, bitch. Oh, All y'all want to be me. That's the fuck. Vandala. Vandala. All y'all want to be me. She ain't real, too. Vandala. Vandala. Good for you. Bye. Bye. There you go, bitch. So go fuck yourself. Ha <laughs> ha, now now it. Well, hello everybody. This is Miss Hazard, and welcome back to another video with me. Me. <laughs> Life of a ghetto bitch. You fucking ghetto bitch. Shut up, Yano. I'm coming to Las Vegas, and I'm gonna fucking suck your dick. And he makes me moist. Oh, what are you drinking? You guys, this is real life for me, okay? I just want you to know it's real life. And that glass was full of vodka at the beginning of the stream. But I knew that means. Who and next? How did you guys get together? I've told this story a thousand times. Yeah, you I not know. Listening? But like, I know. I just think you guys like, you know, 
Wait, what, what are you do? doing, Hussy? Is that wishful oh, thinking? Yeah. It's been a long time for you, hasn't you pay it? For dick. You pay for dick. That's all I was trying to do, y'all, is make people laugh. And I don't mind when people make poke fun of me either. Pull up. Go get a canine course, so fuck around and find out. And I'm the misogynist, right? But yeah, you, you are. Accountable hey, for that. Hey, really? hey, really? hey, really? hey, 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 I ain't messaging him back. Leave me the hell alone. Use a troll. This man gives me one more dirty look. I'm going to get up and kick him in the face. Back to India, bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass bitch. Go fuck yourself, DC. Fuck your ass. But he does. He does. You are a stinky whore. And yo, I am so heated right now. I am so heated. Cause he always gives me the creeps. Fuck your ass, man. And I will be reporting you too. Yo, Hussy, you need to calm <laughs> the so motherfucker down right now. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. you. What did she tell you? Did she tell you that she fucked somebody that stole my Gucci scarf? Yo, it is so cute. I am done with you, Miguel. You to tell me. all these lies and get upset because I didn't give him enough money, uh, because I, because I try to help him. Lying about all the stuff that DC and Dex were saying. Never fooled me from the very fucking beginning. You got a face. No wonder your husband left your ass. I'm getting very nauseous looking at her lady. No, 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 like, would you fuck me? Waiting for you to stop so I can speak. The spank. <laughs> the spank. <laughs> Shut up and let me fucking talk. Oh, 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 oh. You're fat as fuck. <laughs> Go fucking to back to India, bitch. And another thing, Vidal. Prove that you are black. Because you go, she makes fun of Foodie Beauty and Aberdeen Reads looks every day. Did you not tell me to go back to India? I don't know. If I did, so what? That's oh, a good so, oh, so it's okay to be racist. Okay. I'm All not right. racist okay, I at all. You're not? I told you really? to go back to India. If I told you to go back to India, that's not racist. Well, oh, really? At all. That's not. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I will remember no. that. That's not racist <laughs> at all. Prove me, me how that's that. racist. Tell me how that's racist. I never thought of him to be anti-Semitic whatsoever. He's never talked about a Jew before. Traj is part Jewish. Uh, I have cousins that are Jewish. <laughs> Nothing like Don't call me sweetie. Okay, asshole. Does that work better? No, you can call your mother an asshole. She's dead. I don't give a shit, but you're an asshole. <laughs> yep. And he started sucking hussies fucking dick and i'm like <laughs> do what you gotta fucking do and i hope you prosper i call hussy the f word well that's exactly what the fuck you are i don't need this activation i really don't don't fucking suck uh, your husband oh no i don't have burn. a feeling you have always mm. been a whore you have a whore when your mother fucking pushed you out of her bitch oh, oh my god hussy yeah. uh, he shouldn't, what? The stuff he, said about what? he shouldn't have said any of the stuff he said about me. What? Oh, I don't What? <laughs> Damn, my titties bouncing up and down. Oh my god. Swooper, I, you know, that's a whole lot of Fupa. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Don't be talking about my family. Do not be talking about my family, bitch. Fucking lying cunt, hussy. Did you I call, her? call her out? Your mother is a cunt, bitch. Well, fuck you too. Fuck you too. Fuck you too. And your family. Can you mute him when he talks about my daughters? Because I won't have it. You're a Hello, everybody. This is Miss Hussey. And welcome back to another video with me. You guys, this is my new channel. Okay? The other one I had got yeeted. <laughs> I don't... <coughs> I'm so tired. The other one got yeeted, but I... Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Mohammed. Thank you so much for watching.
He gave us the middle finger. I'll get up and leave. I'll get up and leave. What are you saying? I fucking finished what I'm saying? Sure. I thought you went <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so she can wipe the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, bitch, my boyfriend, <laughs> Bella. My proof is in the pudding. That is garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Why are you weeks, shirtless so. with three known homos? You're listening to what I was saying. <laughs> no, not really. I just kind of jumped on there. I... <laughs> Howdy. Uh, bitch, you haven't sucked cock the cocks that I've sucked. Okay, the pick of are you, you gonna quit? Bitch? Are you gonna you quit, bitch? It? You gonna quit, bitch? No, no, you gonna quit, I'm bitch? A, you about to quit, bitch? You about to quit, bitch? Got him. When I come to Vegas, you better fuck me good, bitch. She's too stanky and cheap to get a hotel. Oh, hold it. We fucking can't camera. stand you, fuck. <laughs> you know, I had a wet dream of you. And you fucking came in my mouth. <laughs> we started talking about Duche yesterday, Bouquet. I don't want to talk. Yo, this is the size of um, Dredge's penis. If anybody's interested, check out this is exactly what his penis looks like. Chick okay, see, I love it. It's always sex, penis. Are you gonna you quit, bitch? It? You gonna quit, bitch? No. You gonna quit, I'm bitch? A you you no fucking do that. <laughs> dogs, bitch. Hello, bulls. Her, she's a damn no good has it. Treasure, go get a life, bitch. No one's gonna give you forty dollars here. Next, Huzzy is the Kevin Gates of YouTube. He got two phones. You look great. Say hello to my people. Yeah. Hello, people. Oh. There you go. Countless times. The only reason DCA logs him the way she does is because of this. He but this takes. Oh, uh, my stars. No. Tragic is the one that started saying he's taking me behind the bodega. He's fucking me behind the bodega. <laughs> he fucked me. I got triplets and this, that, the other. Okay? Y'all got a whole... Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? I do got a utero. And I'm pregnant and I'm carrying Tragic's children. And I'm pregnant with three. Like, like, oh my God, I want to suck all your dicks. Kiss my ass. How does my ass taste, hussy? <laughs> Hello, Jasmine. Num, num, num. Hey, no, Pop the fuck up and don't talk to her like that. Listen, Jill. Okay, hold on. Me. Mute that. Can can you mute that freak? No. Well, look, I'm gonna eat them shrimp. I ain't letting them shrimp go bad. Ugh, excuse me. I'm gonna eat. Okay, so this is eight inches, just the size that I like the penises. I like the penises eight inches. This is eight inches. So every time I grab this, I'm gonna think I'm grabbing a penis. I am not. Hey y'all, this girl. I have all gender has final say. If you want to gone, please. Go fuck yourself. I'm so sorry to hear that, boo. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for holding. Thank you guys for holding on the commercial. Uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my kid was coming back here. We had a, she has a, um, she has a surfer thing going on today. So I had to get her surfboards and all that stuff like that. Like I said, um, I don't know if you guys know, but my wife was a semi pro uh, surfer in Mexico. So that's where I met her, Rosarito, you no know, Rosarito Beach and everything like that. So she was, she was a huge surfer. So she's got my um, youngest daughter like into surfing like huge. So. Well, not my youngest, my middle daughter. So, mm. 
how to get all our shit. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much for holding. Thank you, five gifted by Pats. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they go to the beach every Sunday. Sometimes I join them. Then my oldest is going to D.C. on Monday. So shout out to that. Five gifted. Yeah, so busy, busy week, busy week. But thank you guys. Thank you guys for holding five. God damn it. Five gifted by pets. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So she'll be in. So, you know, we've been packed. We've been getting her packed up and ready to go. Um. Uh, and um, the middle one, we just try to walk through right quick. Uh, she uh, she's been doing uh, surf tournaments in uh, Hermosa, so yeah. So good things going. Good things going on. Yeah, yeah, good things. And then my mom's here. She's with the baby. So yeah. <laughs> my mom came to visit. My mom comes like every weekend just to hang out with us and just chill and she likes playing with the baby so there you go family there you go there you go right there <laughs> but thank you very much pets five gifted thank you um thank you guys for holding uh let's get back to it here is just breezing um speaking on uh busy little b and being a victim of a, a stroke victim ladies and gentlemen <laughs> here like her talking about me like she's my biggest fan like she knows when i go for scooter rides she covers them she thought it was really funny when a stroke victim fell off an electric scooter oh your mama on a surfboard a crate is crazy don't <laughs> uh, your mama on a surfboard is crazy i barely know how to swim y'all saw me on the um um on the um the pontoon boat i had the um life jacket on i don't fuck around i don't fuck around i'm not a listen dog i i know i know my wife is a a, a great swimmer and she's a great surfer and she does all that but you know she took me out a few times I, i'm i'm when i'm that far in the water i'm scared okay i panic i know you're not supposed to panic when you're that deep when you're that far out in the water but i do that's why I have a life jacket on i'm i'm afraid i'm afraid ladies and gentlemen when them white waves crash on you Man, man, I could get up though. I could get up. I've done a few. I've done a few, few times, but it's just a fear. It's just a fear. I could swim, but it's just a fear of swimming in that deep ass water. I like feel like something's gonna pull you down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm scared. 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 Yeah, our ocean is freaky, bro. It is. It is, bro. You just don't know, man. You just don't know. And, and uh, Arizona being out there, that water was just, well, uh, anyway. I don't care. Like her talking about me, like she's my biggest fan. Like she knows when I go for scooter ride. You love the Gulf of Mexico? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rosarito too, man. I mean, they got some they got some waves out there, low key. Yeah, her family grew up on the, um grew up over there in Rosarito and her dad was a surfer, got her into surfing. And she used to um, surf out there in Mexico. She she was a semi. I mean, she couldn't go pro. You you go pro, you got to go surf over there in old Hawaii. And those Hawaii those Hawaii waves, those things will kill you. <laughs> those things will kill you. When we went out there, and she went she went out there, but she didn't go out there on the on the uh, pro side. But she went out there on the on the low end side, and those were some crazy ass waves. But then we saw the pro side waves. I don't know how they do that. That's deaf right there. Hey, that's deaf, bro. That ain't, them people are crazy. Them people are crazy. Those waves look like typhoons, man. Those people are, you know, have you been out there and you seen them people swim out to them big ass waves? And they, and, and when you look out, they look like little ants and these big man, I'd be like, bro, <laughs> that shit crazy. Them people are weird. <sighs> Those people are weird. Do I get scared? I do. I get scared when my kids are out there um, with their mom. I do. I do. I get scared. Mm. But um, she keeps them safe, and you know, at a certain age, you're still with the life jacket and stuff like that. But it is scary, though. It's scary. It's scary. It is. You know, it's just and 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 the tournaments. You know, the little kid tournaments. It's it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You got to see it though. I might, um, you know, I might vlog it, um, her next tournament, 
um, my, my kid's next tournament, my her next surf tournament, I might vlog it. But again, and this is the thing. Thank you, No Name. <laughs> Sharks will get you. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> um, I really love to, uh, I really love uh, vlogging my experiences out here in in the world. But I just don't like people like, you know, criticizing if I'm doing, if I'm filming, you know, my kids out there, you know, surfing and then they fall in the water and then you hear some reaction channel go, look at your mama didn't swim out there to say, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> These people are crazy. <laughs> no name donated $10 through These Super These people are Chat. crazy. I'm not Sharks gonna lie. will get you. Hell yes. no. Yes. But, um, but I do, I do want to just show you guys just, you know, just pieces and parts of my life and stuff like that. You know, the good times, the bad times, but I just don't like, I mean, I, I don't mind critique. But I just don't like people twisting shit. You know what I mean? To make it like something that it's not. It's wild. It's wild out here in these streets. <clears throat> no name donated ten dollars through super chat. Sharks, Sharks will, get you. will get you. Somebody said I no. Yep, ten. Thank you for the ten. No name. Facts. 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 Them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers. They. You never know. But uh, somebody said uh, don't show your children. Don't do it. Yeah, you you right about that. That that too. That too. People are gross out here. You know what I mean? I just, one day, one day, ladies and gentlemen, I have a dream. What Martin Luther King said, I have a dream that one day this whole thing will change where well, everybody will be able to show their fam without having to worry about people out there trying to twist shit, try to say stuff. Like, me, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? One day, I have a dream. <laughs> you can just, you know, you just... You could just turn your camera on and not worry about nothing. Not worry about what you say or what you're doing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to criticize somebody talking shit and dragging people, but it's the type of dragging. It's not even dragging. It's just the type of uh, uh, defamatory shit that people are saying that's just crazy. Like, I just ignore it. You know what I mean? I just basically just be like, nah, I don't even... You know what I'm saying? I just ignore it or whatever. But uh, I, I, I think it hurts other people. I think more people... More people that watch me, that, you know, like my attitude, and people that dislike me, too, when they see people say stuff that's defamatory, they get more hurt than me. And I be like, I feel for the people that have to hear these other people. You know what I'm saying? These other people are like, dude, this shit is just, what are y'all doing? You know what I mean? And I be like, I already know, bro. It's just, I've been in, I've been in the Madden community. I've been in other communities, you know, and um, <clears throat> sometimes it's like, well, Madden community is kind of is, is better because, you know, you see these people and these people don't act like that when they're in front of you. And then they, you know, they kind of cool with shit. But this community, it's like, man, <laughs> these people make up shit. It, it's, it's so wild and crazy. They see you walk. They see you jaywalking there on your ass, boy. But hey, it's come with the it's come with the territory. I don't I don't really I don't really, I don't really pay it no mind. It don't hurt me none. It don't hurt me none. You know what I mean? Like. Like um, what people say, always say, if you know yourself, you know how you are and you know your family life, you don't have to explain it to nobody. You don't have to sit here and explain who you are. I'm not going to spend a whole stream to explain exactly who I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them feel themselves. If that makes them feel good, hey man, all praises to you, man. Praise, praise to you, man. But all my blessings, man. <laughs> all, my, all my blessings. <laughs> uh, can yeah, no kids online. Can we get back to it? Let's get back to it. I pray. I, I just want to just bless those people, though. Man. Say prayer for me. There you go. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Here is just breezing again. Roasting busy little bee. Roll it. She covers them. She thought it was really funny when a stroke victim fell off an electric scooter that was moving at like what? That thing was going up to 15 miles per hour. I'm not saying like I jumped out of a car or anything, but like it's not hilarious when somebody falls off. Did she just say that scooter was going 50? Did she just say that scooter was going 15 miles per hour? <laughs> what? <laughs> that thing, that thing hits 10 at its max. <laughs> she said she was going 15. <laughs> hey! Hey! 
first of all, ma'am, first of all, ma'am, <coughs> when you fell off that scooter, you hit a corner. You 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 slowed down on the corner, then you tried to speed up, and then you hit you hit a bump and you fell off. <laughs> Trust me, if you was going 15, <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to stop, pick your, pick yourself up off the bike. You just scraped your knee and got up real quick. You wasn't going 15. Trust me. If you was going 15 miles and you hit a pothole. Ma'am, you wouldn't have been able to hold on to the scooter. You would have flew off that bad boy. 15? This is, this is Cap. <laughs> the Cap is out of control, ladies and gentlemen. It was, it was not 15 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, this stroke victim. I was going 15 miles per hour. <laughs> what? 15? <laughs> That shit don't go. That shit can't. Even, how could you go 15 miles per hour and that fucking and that scooter can't even go up a hill? <laughs> that shit struggles going up a hill. There's no way. <laughs> Have you gone 15 on a scooter? <laughs> Trust me. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Hold on. Play the video. Hold on. Let me. Get, <laughs> somebody said play the video though. Hold on. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, shit. Somebody said play the video. Let me get this real quick. <laughs> oh man, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and play this video. Hey every Let me go ahead and play this video. Ah. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> she said 15. Let me see. If this is 15, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. 15, though, I'm out of here. Here we go. Let's see this. 15 miles per hour. She is going 15, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Look. Mm. I ain't stressing. Pets, $10. Pets donated 10 pounds through Super Chat. Uh, Breezy, you're in danger, Goral. Man, <laughs> very much. You're talking about a stroke victim here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Contain yourself. That was 15. Here we go. This is the fall right here. To me, we might have... Here we go. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Use this lane. However, if big old trucks start trying to slide into me, we might have to go to the sidewalk. So if anybody's going to be offended, ooh, ouch, by that, <laughs> I look down, hold on. Stop the cap. <laughs> she literally slid, didn't even slide, hit her knee and picked herself up. Does that look like 15 miles per hour? Let me run that back real quick in slow-mo. There's no way going 15 miles per hour, you would be able to pick yourself up like that. Let's see it in slow motion, y'all. It's going to be a friend. Look at Falls. Ooh. Look it. Falls. No slide. No skip. No falling off. Ouch. And that. got right back up. Look at that. Right back up. Leg hit right back up. You wouldn't have been able, nobody in their life would be able to get themselves up that fast going 15 miles per hour. Uh, and still holding on to the scooter. I look down. Hold on. I'm okay. 15 miles, ma'am. No way. Ouch, by that, <laughs> I looked down. No. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There's the evidence. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I've been on, I, I got a scooter. If I'm going 15 and I fall or I hit something, I fall like that, I'm not, I'm not, I would not be able to, man, I, I fell on going slow, like 10, and I wasn't able to hold on to the fucking um, scooter. Anybody out there that got a scooter would know 15 is, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> There's no way, but hey, 
She was going 15, y'all. <laughs> she was going 15. And there's traffic, like car or anything, but like that thing was going up to 15 miles per hour. I'm not saying like I jumped out of a car or anything, but like it's not hilarious when somebody falls off and there's traffic like two inches from them. She thought it was. What did you say? There was traffic two inches from. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's bring the receipts. Hold on. This woman's a liar. This woman's a liar. Did anybody see traffic? <laughs> Let's bring up the tape. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, if anybody's. <laughs> Where's the traffic? <laughs> there was traffic where? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ma'am, with the traffic where? <laughs> Where's that traffic? <laughs> Looks clear to me. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. I got to back up. Maybe we missed the traffic. Maybe we <laughs> we missed all that traffic, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huge city in LA. I live in a small city of like 50,000 people. And on the sidewalk, everybody rides. So while there's no crazy. cars right here. <laughs> the traffic is, the traffic is crazy. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> bumper to bumper. <laughs> What? Right now, I will use this link. However, if Where's big old the trucks are trying though? to slide into me, we might have to go to the sidewalk. So if anybody's going to be offended, oh, ouch, by that. <laughs> I looked down. Hold on. I'm okay. <laughs> I bet that little fall made a few people happy. That's crazy. <laughs> Where was the traffic? <laughs> what was the that's crazy. That's crazy. This woman catches herself in her own lies. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? We did you not see the video? <laughs> it's just crazy. Oh my goodness, the traffic was crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't laugh about two traffic being two inches next to me. What? <laughs> it was hilarious. Hilarious when somebody falls off and there's traffic like two inches from them. She thought it was hilarious. She covered that. Um, she also covered my arrest for my ten dollars rush hour. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's crazy! <laughs> That's crazy! Stroke victim, fifteen miles an hour traffic. That's wild. <laughs> she she really knows how to play her audience. <laughs> two inches from her, she said. Two inches from her QZ. I, we couldn't see we couldn't see a cars from miles away. That's wild. <laughs> she even said if there was a car that flew next to me, I would fly back on the sidewalk because I don't want to. She even said that in the. Bruh. Their audience believe anything that come out of her mouth. <laughs> they don't <laughs> anything. She can say anything. She can say I went to the moon yesterday and they'll be like, oh, really? How was it? <laughs> believe anything that come out of her mouth it's crazy there's little videos out there of what you did and what happened that's that's just wild to me it's just wild to me just i'm living in a whole new i'm living in an upside down i swear i am i swear i'm living in an upside down it's crazy 20s which fyi i'm 41 years old now and have been sober six years and right. six months um so anyways uh she covered my arrest record and danced around with it she was so proud to be talking about it mm -hmm. and has since then tried to paint this picture of me like i'm this hardened criminal who goes around abusing people um again i haven't been into jail or anything for god well over a decade <laughs> and um there was stuff i got arrested for i'm not proud of but most of it if you look at it it's all drunk related like drunk in public stuff like that like it was all alcohol related i had a I noticed you never mention the elderly abuse charge. I, I've noticed that you avoid that like the plague. <laughs> she don't want to say that. <laughs> it, it, listen, 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 it's all drunk related, all right? <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to start doing when I commit a crime. I'm just going to be like, hey, hey, it was drunk related. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> $10, no name, said rush hour. <laughs> Crazy. It's wild out here in these streets. <laughs> Rush hour. <laughs> no name with the tin. No name donated $10 through Super Chat. 
rush hour. <laughs> she mean she she probably saw Jackie Chan or uh, Chris Tucker somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> she she had the movie in her head. I don't know what she was thinking. A huge problem. Since then, I cleaned up my life. Like I got my life together. Right. Um, you know, I was suffering so bad in addiction. I had I had to give over temporary custody of my child, but. I have her back now and I have joint custody, even though I have her like 97% of the time. Joint custody, 97%? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I got jo joint custody, but I got 97%. Wait. <laughs> is that joint custody <laughs> that doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like joint custody <laughs> you got her 90 I don't, this is <laughs> all these lies <laughs> she don't even know how to lie right <laughs> but i got her 97 percent of the time what <laughs> wait a minute and that's not joint then i don't know what that <laughs> i don't I'm, i might be confused are you flexing to your audience? Like, listen, it's joint, but listen, let me tell you, 97% over here. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. You could just say anything, can you? <laughs> At this point, who cares? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have her way more. Um, anyways, people change and people can change their lives around. And it didn't really bother me that she doxed my arrest record. It's not really doxing, I guess, that she paraded it around because that's my past. I'm a different person until I found out that she had been arrested more recently, uh -huh. such as 2023. Um, mm. Two days before my birthday, she was in jail. So mm. on my birthday last year, while I was celebrating with family, she was inside of a jail cell. Mm. Um, and she's been arrested for her charges are inflicting corporal punishment onto a spouse Damn. and obstructing and resisting a peace officer. Mm. And it was from 2017 and 2023. And those okay. are only two of the rest I'm going to be talking about right now. I have far more knowledge in my back pocket. Hey, I'm not going to be biased here, but <clears throat> I'm not going to be biased, but it's kind of crazy that uh, it's just like the same thing with, um, you know, Kaya speaking on certain things, it's it's the same thing with Busy B. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you talk about her using a filter when you use a filter. You talk about her criminal record and you got one. Like, it just, it's like the same thing. It, it don't, like, ma'am, like, really? <laughs> you, you I, I, I gotta give her this. You are dragging somebody when you got a history yourself. That's wild. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not as bad as hers, but it's it's there. <laughs> it's like, I mean, a, assaulting a peace officer? I don't know what that's about, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was just trying to keep the pace. <laughs> I don't. It's crazy, but go ahead. Okay. Far more. She's covered my baby daddy um, when right. he was temporarily back in my life, and I decided I didn't want to make things work, and she tried to you know, paint to the internet, oh, he doesn't want her busy little bee. Your husband cheats on you. <laughs> like, your husband cheats on you. So we're going to talk more about her. Um, anyway, she's obsessed with me. Everything I do, meanwhile, will call me obsessed with foodie beauty when she stays on top. Like, there are days I don't cover foodie, and she's still running her mouth about me. Uh oh. Um, she lies constantly. Just the other day, she was going off telling people that, Okay, if you were in this live stream, you guys know, we were already in the middle of a live stream talking about, I think, Queen Cobra, maybe Twitter, uh -huh. other things. And then the chat let me know, like, several people, foodies live, foodies live. So I was like, oh, she's live. And then we went over there. Well, she's making videos, running her mouth. Oh, did you see the second Foodie Beauty went live? Breezy did too. And, like, that's not even, that's a silly lie, right? It's stupid. Like, anybody with a brain can go see this stuff. But it's daily, just like whatever. Nobody is saying right when Foodie Beauty goes live, you go live. She's saying at the same time, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think what she's meaning to say is like 10 minutes later, you're live right behind Foodie Beauty. That's what she's trying to say. Uh, just Breezy, nobody's saying that when you snipe Foodie Beauty, it's like right when she goes live, you're right behind her at the same time. No, we're trying to say like, you know what I mean? Like you, it doesn't matter what time of day, when she does it. You drop everything you're doing, and within five to ten minutes, you're live 
sniping her is kind of it's kind of obsessive, especially if there's nothing going on. Like there's no it's not a big event or it's not anything like, you know, yeah, important. You know what I mean? You just raw dog the shit. <laughs> you know, Booty Beauty could just be picking her nose and you'll just be watching it for like two hours. It's weird. But um, that's what I think she's meaning. Ever she can say, she will throw it out there and see if it sticks. And mm -hmm. She lies and says that I'm like, I e-beg as much as Foodie Beauty and I shouldn't be talking about her. She also said, I push up my PayPal, my cash app, all this stuff. For one thing, I don't have a PayPal. And Just breezing, you don't push <laughs> your cash app and you don't e-beg, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, 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 ma'am. Stop the cap. You are probably the biggest e-beggar on this planet. <laughs> you can't talk about foodie e-begging or e-begging or nothing. Because when you lost monetization, what you do? You turned around and threw up your cash app. You went to Twitch and told people to subscribe to you over there on Twitch. Matter of fact, you didn't she do a whole Patreon? <laughs> didn't she want to charge people to have conversations about her sobriety <laughs> on Patreon? <laughs> and only like two people signed up? <laughs> I'm going to do my content not on YouTube no longer. I'm going to Patreon <laughs> that behind that paywall. Come and come and join me, guys. We'll have meetings. You did that. <laughs> you was trying any ways and any means to get paid. You was trying that. You know, when you got demonetized, it was crazy. And when Foodie Beauty got was um got sort of banned from YouTube, you lost your mind. You said, oh, well, how am I going to feed? How am I going to go to these places? How am I going to do this? I need a paycheck. I can't move on from foodie. You said that in the post. And then when you got demonetized, oh, my goodness, you was finding any type of way or any kind of way to make your money that you lost. And on top of that, you was even, you was even floating OnlyFans for a while. Oh, guys, I don't know. I'm going to just do my OnlyFans thing. And... You're the biggest e-bagger on the internet. It's crazy. You can't criticize Foodie Beauty for what she did. You do it worse. This woman hasn't got, taken a day off. She works every day on the YouTubes. <laughs> every day. Four or five videos a day. She's working her butt off. <laughs> It's crazy. And then she want to talk about she's not an e-beggar? That Patreon was wild. When I heard she did that, she was like, I'm going to make my Patreon. Come on over there because I can't get paid over here. I got my Patreon ready. And when you click on, you had to you gotta immediately pay. To hear what? You talk about what and who? Exactly. Mm. <clears throat> It <laughs> should be a, on a list. <laughs> oh, man. Spirit change, please. Exactly. Mm. The feet pics was wild. The feet pics was wild. She came on with the feet pics and the ingrown tone and the ingrown hairs. That's wild. But anyway. Mm. But hey, man, that's what she that's what she do. What she do? <sighs> Steve said, I missed you, your mama. Uh, oh, the Disney thing was wild. Yeah, the Disney thing was wild. <laughs> the Disney thing was wild. When you eat back for Disneyland, that was kind of crazy. It's crazy. It's like the hypocrisy's out of this world. If Foodie Beauty wants to put up her PayPal and cash up, what I think is weird is that Foodie Beauty even arguing with people for doing it. Like, they'll find anything to argue with Foodie Beauty on, and the fact that she responds to it is weird. <laughs> it's like if, if somebody said, yo, you're putting up a cash app and a PayPal, and people want to give you their cash, pay you, do cash app or PayPal, so what? <laughs> well, that's, that's, who cares? That's not your business. You're not paying. You know what I mean? And the fact that it comes from people that e-beg even harder than her is weird. That's why I wouldn't even argue it. <laughs> the Disneyland thing was wild. And other than this stream right now where I pinned my cash app just to piss her off. 
I pinned my cash app to piss her off. Here we go with the spite shit. Didn't FFG start this dumb shit? The spite diet? The spite um paint the spite buy BBJ a uh, uh, Gucci necklace? The sp- you see how they all mimic each other? This spite shit is weird. Oh, 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 I'm putting my cash app up there to spite foodie, to spite busy little B. I'm going to hurt her with this one. Ma'am, you put that up there to get paid. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> this spite shit is out of this world, man. <laughs> it's out of this world. <laughs> yeah, it's out of this world. The spite shit is wild. Stop this spite dumb shit. You're not hurting nobody when you're just trying to get money. Just say, hey, I put my cash up there. Ash, I put my cash up there because I cash app up there because I want to get paid. I need some money right away. Just say that. Don't lie. I pride myself on this channel. Like I even tell my mods, like, I don't want to push my cash app. Like, it's not something I want to do. I don't want people to feel like they have to come here and pay to talk to me. I don't like when I see other creators that do that. What? <laughs> Man, when you got demonetized, you was begging. <laughs> I don't want you guys to feel like you guys got to pay to watch me. But go ahead and check out my Patreon. <laughs> I got some exclusive shit over there. <laughs> you want to see my foot? <laughs> oh, God. God, please save me. This is out of control. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you want to see my foot real quick? <laughs> Where they only talk if they get like a huge super chat. You know what I mean? Um. And so it's just stupid stuff she lies about, but we're gonna learn more about her life and why she should focus on herself, why she could focus on herself. And if she continues to cover me, like busy little bee, I hope more people cover you and look at your past. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna point this out to you again. You you paraded around my arrest record from my 20s. You were a- Yeah, 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 I paid for my family. Yeah, the Six Flags thing. Yeah, to pay for my family to go to Six Flags. Yeah, you know, I didn't ask nobody for nothing. I just, you know, I just do it. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's wild out here in these streets. Arrested in 2023, in 2017, and several more years. Several more years. Who are you to talk about anybody? You need to get, like your life together. You have a husband who cheats on you all over Twitter. And this is just one screenshot of many, Oh, many, <laughs> many. Oh, but let's talk about her arrest record too. Hurl said, yeah, she should be more concerned about why her man has his right. And there's screenshots and dates in every photo I will be showing you. So if she tries to say I wasn't arrested for that, which she does, I know that for a fact, she says, everybody's lying about her arrest record, that it's not really what she was arrested for when I'm, I, I'm going to show you guys. Then I asked for money for a GoPro. I said, I said, if people want to listen on the GoPro, I said, if people, cause people wanted me to vlog and show things. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting the GoPro. And then, um, shout outs to, um, uh, Brittany, Brittany. Mm. Thank you. No name with a 10 gifted. No name I donated mean, $10, $10, $10, $10 through super chat. You go to six flags and how horrible face with mm-hmm. rolling eyes. Can't believe it. Bring your whole family to Six Flags. God damn it. Can't believe it. Thank you for the $10. No name. Yeah. When I did the uh, GoPro thing, I just put it out there that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start vlogging. But I'm going to do this whole GoPro thing. Brittany was like, let's raise money for your mama to get a GoPro. And I was like, oh, yeah. If y'all want to put in, do a GoPro thing and whatever, yeah, we could definitely do it. And, yeah, um, some people gave a little, some money. But I eventually paid for the whole, like, the majority of it shout outs to Brittany out there you know what i mean she was just like yeah well you know let's do something if you want to do something for us and do a gopro thing and you know do some vlogs and stuff like that and you know what i'm saying and i was like yeah cool if you guys want to do that yeah that'd be dope and and i and i and i advertised it and people helped get pay pay for a gopro you know and then i put in i put in the rest i was like whatever you put in i'll match it you know what I'm saying? Got a GoPro, got the whole, uh, uh, the internet with it and all that other stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I still got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just waiting every time I use the GoPro and, and listen, and I got to say this, the content that came out of the GoPro, you got to understand that whole hussy video came from the GoPro. A couple of videos that I've made came out of that GoPro. So shout outs to those. 
that wanted extra content and great content from your boy for ha- for the GoPro. I just want to say that it didn't it didn't it, it didn't go to like it didn't go to not being used or it didn't go to just having it for myself. It was actually for the is actually for the, um the people that watch. You know what I mean? That wanted to watch a vlog, wanted to watch a masterpiece of uh, video. If it wasn't for y'all, I probably wouldn't have the best video in the fucking world. Because ain't nothing better than that hussy video. Talk to me, chat. <laughs> ain't nothing. And I know somebody in Jessica Meska's chat was trying to argue with me. Or they was trying to argue with a few other people. When they said that piss in the box video. And it's a great song. I love that song. The piss in the box uh, song with uh, 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 Naked and Laughing. They said, that's the best video ever, and your mama could never. And I said, what? And then somebody was like, hussy? And I was like, yeah, dude, that shit ain't, that shit ain't fucking with the hussy video, dog. It's, it's levels, but it was a good video, but come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. It's, like, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. But thank you guys. Again, thank you guys for pitching in for that GoPro. I mean, if that's if that's me e begging, okay, then I'm an e beggar. Then I'm 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 an e beggar. If that's me e begging, I'm e beggar. Then hey, fuck it, I'll re- I'll I'll rock that. I'll rock that. I'll rock that. Guys, the arrest. Like <laughs> she says that it wasn't her husband who was cheating. That it was somebody else. And yada yada yada. So- Matter of fact, if we are gonna start e begging shit, I got my OnlyFans. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got my OnlyFans coming up. I'm showing my feet. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm an e-beggar, goddammit. I might as well just go all the way. I, I haven't put my cash app in here yet. <laughs> I ain't put my cash app and pin it. And then I got an OnlyFans coming up, y'all. <laughs> trying to take my kids to Disneyland. <laughs> we trying to see Mickey Mouse, motherfuckers. <laughs> Make it rain in here. <laughs> we trying to go to Disneyland. <laughs> I was trying to see Mickey Mouse, motherfuckers. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Got a kid going to D.C. tomorrow. I need some money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So please, when I show you screenshots, pay attention to dates. And uh, yeah, people who aren't able to. Ch- no, nah, Egg Toast, you ain't touching her. I love you, Egg toast. toast. I love you. Give me a hug right here. Or give me a pound. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> don't, don't leave me hanging, Egg Toast. Right here. Okay. <laughs> as long as we pounding up, we cool. <laughs> Change loads. I love you those, too. Those of us who do and become successful. Right, right. And again, I'm just going to say this. Busy Little Bee, your entire channel is about everything I do. I could sneeze and you cover it. I could burp and you'll hear it from whatever city you're in and you will mm. cover it. If my dog barks too loudly, you'll probably cover it. Like you are obsessed. Yeah. Obsessed. But I would clean up your own shit. Ooh. Before you try and come for somebody who actually did the work to change. Right. You were arrested in 2023. When's the last damn time I was arrested? It wasn't 2023 or 2017. Okay. Inflicting corporal injury on a spouse. So you're violent and you get arrested and then you think. This is crime on crime violence. (laughs) I never thought I'd see the day. Where I mean, I, I I thought it was already weird that it's been fi- it's been a fat on fat um crimes been going on, you know, fat women fighting over other fat women for being fat, but now we're on a whole nother level. Now we're on criminals fighting against other criminals. It's crazy. <laughs> Who's the biggest criminal? <laughs> this, this girl roll shit is crazy. This girl roll shit is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me look at look at look, look at look. your police record. Don't compare it to mine. Let me run it down. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are y'all really fighting over who's the bigger criminal? <laughs> is, is that what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. You were arrested. I, you were arrested in 2023. It's been five years since I've been arrested. Wait, why are y'all getting arrested? <laughs> why are y'all getting arrested in the first place? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, man, we about to have another 24 up in this motherfucker or something. Think it's fun to fight a cop? I'm assuming that's how things go down with you. Wow. Wow. Even when she demonized, she covered foodie and kept on going. Right. And another thing, too, Busy Little B, 
don't cry if people want to donate to my cash app and don't bitch about it. Oh, like, how are you any better? You hang out in chats where people pin their cash app all the time. Okay. Sit down and take several seats. You get mad. I go live and cover foodie. I think it's because oh. if you go live, not what three people are going to be there Ooh. and all three of them are fighting right now. Ooh. <laughs> like, all three of them. Damn. It's wild. It's wild. Uh -oh. Um, she even posts like she'll look at random times we go live. Damn, just breezing out here dragging. Who would have thought? I would have thought this would be today. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't argue with it. She, hey, she ain't say. She ain't lying. <laughs> she, she ain't say nothing. That she, <laughs> she ain't lying. <laughs> Busy me go live and be like five people in there. <laughs> no lies detected. <laughs> Shit. Live. Oh, I can go live at midnight. I can go live at three in the no, morning see this. and she'll make fun of me yeah. on my, how many people I have in the chat. Right. Meanwhile, she's not looking at the views. I get like busy little bee. I've got over, what is it? 8 million views on this channel now. Okay. I don't care if there's 35 people in the chat. Oh, I'm doing better than you'll ever do. And how long have you been on YouTube? Eight years. Damn. Eight Talk years. Come on. I think you're pathetic. Oh, <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Shots fired, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shots fired. God. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I never, I never thought I'd see the day. Just breathe down here, dragon. <laughs> she ain't lying. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Talk to her. <laughs> Talk to her. Talk to her. You're pathetic. Damn. Thank you, Sammy. Does role play being arrested count? I'm terrible. No, it doesn't count. Role play being arrested is fun. That's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, corporal injury means there's visible injuries, but she lies. Like, I'm assuming, busy. I hope you cover this because oh. it's the one video I'll actually watch of yours, which I'll okay. pull your, ch your channel up and I'll show you. I don't watch you. Ooh. People send me things and then I happen to go to your Twitter because I want to see what you lie about. Uh oh. But I'll never give you a view on your channel. Yeah. And believe me, what I'm going to show right now, I have far more. I have far more. I have far more where that comes from. Yeah, but see, the, see, <laughs> the thing about the bit, the thing about busy little B is, first of all, she's just not creative. That's one. Number two, she goes around and she tries to pow pow with everybody. Like she tries to get on. She like, oh, you're, you're cool. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Da, da, da. She goes on Twitter. She's like, oh, we're cool. Yeah, da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And then she'll go into your stream and, you know, big you up. And, oh, yeah, yeah, GG. Blah, 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 blah. You know, in order to be, like, kind and cool with you, in order so you can watch her or you can give her props or, no go, or not go at her because you feel bad going at somebody that piling up with you. That's how she does. It. That's that's her operation. She likes to pile up with people and she likes to get with people so it makes her comfortable when she talks about you, right? She'll talk shit about you because, oh, well, I, I'm i cool with this person and this person is talking. To... She, she does that. that. That's how she does. Me, I don't, I don't, I, when I, when, when Busy B, I never been cool with her Ever since she told me I couldn't say nigga, and she was a white lady trying to tell a black man I can't say nigga. And then I said, why not? She said, because you're half white. I said, first of all, that right out right there, that threw you, that don't make no sense. That's first of all, you can't tell nobody what they can and can't say, especially the N-word. That's wild. You know what I mean? And I had to tell her both, first of all, where the fuck did you get that I was half white? Where did you get that from? <laughs> well, my parents is black. And she was like, oh, oh my bad. <laughs> First of all, you shouldn't even, that shouldn't even come out of your mouth. You don't even, see, you try, she tries to get in shit and she, she tries to find her way and she thinks, oh, well, if I go at your mama, maybe I can take your mama's audience and maybe I can build my, you ain't going to build your membership. Nobody over here likes that shit that you do. You, you edit and cut up videos and shit is, you know what I mean? It's crazy. And then she, add, she'd be like, oh, well, your mama, why are you here? Well, if I wasn't here, you wouldn't be playing my interviews or videos that I've made. You put it on your channel. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. She tries to pile up with everybody. She tries to pile up with everybody so they won't go at her. And I'll be like, man, you stay, go over there. <laughs> I, wanna, I see that fakeness. I don't want to pile up with you. Weird. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. But yeah. But like I said, I mean, Breezing is dragging. I, I ain't going to ain't gonna hold back on her. Let, let her drag. Let her drag her. <laughs> yeah, drag that shit, man. 
like, yeah, that whole pile up shit that she do is weird. It's weird. She tried to go around being friends with everybody. Like, oh, yeah, you're enemies with him. Oh, yeah, I don't like him either. Oh, yeah, and then and then you don't like him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then she tries to butt in. It's weird. It's like, dude, be your own person. If you got a problem, just be have a problem. Talk that shit. And, and don't use fucking nine billion filters to do it. <laughs> Jesus. Say it with your chest. <laughs> shit. <laughs> When I talk shit, when I talk shit, I don't, I don't care if people agree with it or don't agree with it or I have friends that have friends and, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I make enemies with people that used to be cool with me. I, and I don't go to other people and say, is it okay for me to go at this person? I don't do that. I just drag them. Just fuck it. It's me. I'm saying it. And that's it. Period. And I would just take several yeah. seats. I would. And again, there shouldn't be any problem with this video, right? Where right. I wouldn't have to like go to your channel and check out whatever you say about me that could, you know, whatever. I'll just remind you three strikes you're out. So, <laughs> so I asked, where is your husband? Hi, since I know you stalked me before you deny this, his name and photos match his arrest records, which match his pick he uses to get women. Have a great day. And this is him telling somebody he likes to send his pictures around Twitter and say, after you sit on my face, you can sit on this. Oh, Good old Donnie. First of all, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak on this because I'm not going to talk like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Pets donated $10 through Super Chat. My dude Breezy <laughs> could take me to dinner and hookah. I would still think she's problematic AF. Exactly, Pets. Thank you very much. Thank you for the $10. Yeah, you would think she was problematic. You know, you just kind of want to know where her psyche is. You know what I'm saying? Like, have a conversation with her. Like, yo, why, you, know, why you do what you do? You probably get a different... Uh, you, you probably get an ex explanation that makes sense. But, um... What I'm saying is, uh, uh, I'm not. See, this is the difference between me and Busy Busy Lil B. I don't know too much about this situation with Busy Lil B's husband showing his dick pic. Now, Busy Lil B said that it that is not her husband, and it's possibly her. Uh, some her other family members got the same names as her husband, so it's not her husband. It could be her 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 a junior or a senior, some whatever. Um. But I'm not going to drag her for that because I don't know the situation. See, that's the difference between me and her. If I don't know the situation, I'm not going to sit here and agree with just breezing and your man showing his dick or something like that. I don't know. But you, <laughs> you hear something about me, you, uh, she automatically, oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's, that's true. True that. True that. <laughs> true that. She does that shit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and drag what your husband does. I don't. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't even know if it's him or not. Just Breezy could be lying right here. So I'm not gonna sit here and be on the side of Just Breezy. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, all because I don't like either one of y'all. I'm not gonna do it. So again, um, before she cries that this is doxing. Was it doxing when you said my city name all over your Twitter because you wanted people to think I would call you? Remember that time where you said my city name and you're like, oh, Breezy, I, like I have better things to do than call you Busy Little B. I don't even think I'd hear you if you could like, you can't talk. You have no teeth. Like, I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you. Oh, 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 Breezy getting on the teeth. Oh, 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 she said you ain't got no bottom teeth. Oh, man. When you spit it, just go right through it. That's crazy. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> just Breezy dragging the filter queen. Oh, my goodness. It's a battle. This is a battle right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a war. Right <laughs> Go ahead. But was it doxing when you bragged about my arrest record and how you had all the info, right? So I don't feel bad. You've okay. talked about my baby daddy, who isn't a YouTuber. You've right. talked about everything regarding right. me. I don't feel bad. And you are one of those people, you and your little three friends and Gigi, who I know is covering this um, allegedly. What you guys do, you don't realize. Like, I think... It's funny. I'm going to expose Busy Little B right now. I think oh. this is hilarious. When I end this live stream, I'm going to be laughing all day about it, okay? Like, I find this shit hilarious. Do you? But you guys, you poke and poke and poke and poke and poke. I've never gone after Gigi. I've never gone after Busy Little B. And how long have they been covering me and coming for me? What? <laughs> Ma'am. Stop the cap. <laughs> I literally seen the videos you came at Gigi. But go ahead. And, and Busy Little B. That's cap. That's you poke and poke and poke and you do it That's with cap. other people too. 
and you say fucked up shit about them. You'll comfort people's families. You threaten to sue. You threaten whatever else. But mm -hmm. if anybody gives you back a little bit of what you've given out, you will cry and you will be a victim for the next two months. I think you two need to stop instigating you two specifically, Gigi and Busy Little B. Wow. Like, stop poking the bear if you don't like when people respond. Maybe you're just not built for you two. <laughs> like, you guys cry. You guys cry. And I know this right now. Busy Little B will become... Ma'am, you talking about they cry, but you're the one that always cries and does this whole song and dance about you're talking about my my parenting and my kid and all this other stuff. You do all of that, especially when nobody's even talking about... You, you just... You said that I did whole videos on that. And that's a lie. No receipt, no nothing. It's crazy. You talking about people crying? <laughs> Ain't that all you do? I'm like the biggest little victim, but you've poked and poked and poked for how many? Biggest little victim. We just heard you say, you we just heard you say somebody's making fun of a stroke victim falling off a scooter. <laughs> Didn't you just say that not too long ago? You you talk about people playing victims. You said you was a stroke victim and fell off a scooter. How dare you make fun of me? And there was there was uh, traffic two inches away from me. I could have died. And we looked and there wasn't a car for miles around. <laughs> and you talk about, this is crazy. The hypocrisy is out of, out of this world. Here's busy little B. I'm just giving you a taste, a taste of what you've been doing and saying about me. Just right. FYI. All right, let me continue to this thread. Hold on one second, you guys. Blurred out the niggas cock and If everything. they can say it, they can take it. Exactly. Wow. So I have the emoji on it, but just to let you know, don't be impressed. So I put. Did she say just don't be impressed? <laughs> you saw this woman's man's dick. That's crazy. What is going on around here? <laughs> yeah, I got emoji over it, but let me let you ladies know. Don't be impressed. <laughs> Gorlicks was bigger. <laughs> Gorlick. Uh, Gorlick right here. <laughs> but by the way, the skull emoji makes this tiny little thing a whole ass illusion. No one get their hopes up. Trust me. I'll say that. Don't get your hopes up. Trust me. <laughs> um, as he, well, Monty said, Danny Boy still, anyways, we're going to go past those. Mm -hmm. So this is the arrest records. Wow. Again, busy little bee, you've shown mine, right? Mm. Mm. June 10th, 2017, arrested for inflicting corporal injury on a spouse cohabitant. Um, by the way, the emojis, I'm not laughing at this situation. I blocked out her city, which um is far more than she's done for me. So this criminal record again, June wild. 10th, 2017. This next one, resist, obstruct, <laughs> delay, this is peace wild. officer, March going 25th, 2023. It's kind of crazy, though. It's kind of But wild. I'm the violent criminal, busy little bee. Wow. I really hope from now on everybody refers to you as busy little criminal. That's what oh. you are. <laughs> Some people change their lives. Not busy little criminal, though. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Even Salah laughed at that one. <laughs> Busy little criminal? That's crazy. <laughs> wow. For the first time, fucking she actually rhymed something together. <laughs> I could actually hear that. <laughs> Busy little criminal is crazy. I was in Do Better, and some people get arrested in 2023 and then um, scream about the people who changed their lives. Wow. And by the way, on that screenshot I showed you, please look out the date. Let me scroll up really fast. He wow. sent this out 42122. So he on 42122, he was sending his eggplant <laughs> to other women. Um, but but let's look at the date in this. September 11th. There's gonna be something that's gonna be said that's so crazy. I want to get to that part. Something's gonna be said that's so crazy. i I cringed. I watch this. 2022, he was posing with his wifey. Dang. And if you notice his face, if you happen to zoom into the profile picture on his um, eggplant pic, it's the same person. She tries to deny it and says it's not. So there's one more thing. I think it's in this thread. This is crazy what she's about to say. He also has mug shots that you can view. They're both criminals. They're both criminals. 
So stop talking about me. Stop talking about my baby daddy who isn't on YouTube and worry about your criminal cheating husband that you like to beat up and then fight cops over. That's what I would do, busy little bee. Why that is what I would do. Her? Um, She looks like Amy Slayton after she lost weight. Watch this. Another thing, this too, crazy. she loves to talk about filters with me. Please tell me if this face matches any any picture she's put up on YouTube or Twitter. Please let me know. Please let me know. I don't think that mouth has any teeth in it, so I'd yeah, like to know her. where the teeth came from. Look at that this. is what I'd like to know. Where is your husband, and where did you get those teeth? Okay? <laughs> so that is my little thread. I might be adding to it. I might be adding to it. Um, Booty is a coward, so she goes for easy targets. Yeah, this. Wendy's Watch isn't this. the same for me anymore. Boys, don't you, do you like what? Boys, you don't want an eggplant if your penis purple or green. Go to the doctor. I don't know. I don't know. I think she should never talk about filters, baby daddies, sobriety, any of that. As far as it goes with me, I think she needs to have um, several seats. Her life is far more messy than mine. I don't go around getting arrested for beating anybody up these days. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just how it is. Focus Watch on this. yourself. Focus on yourself. And please stop lying about me. Please. Like, do your little content if you want. Like, I am so honored. I have said, like, I didn't know I would ever have a stand. I truly didn't. So thank you for being my first stand. But um, mm -hmm. you need to never comment about my past ever again or yeah. my family or anything else. Seriously. Because let me just remind you again. Whatever you try to say to back out of this, busy little bee, what you've done, this is what you were arrested for. Watch what you're about to say. This Why is are crazy. you in this community? You're violent. Go get help. Go get Why are you in this community? You're violent? That ain't it, though, but watch this. Finger management and maybe couples therapy, and maybe he'll stop cheating on you. Maybe. If you're lucky. <laughs> I'm done. Meth is a terrible drift. It is terrible. You lose all your teeth. You lose them all. They target Breezy, Montana, Sluck, few others because they think their own girl world, Jessica Musk, and friends have been running the narrative since the Nads arc. It's just, they're... <sighs> a lot of these people who come for me like their shit's messed up. Like, I don't know, like just because I'm not even going to go into it now, but if I, <laughs> if I really wanted to, I can list all the reasons of why she should not be anywhere online, anywhere online. But, um, just breezing wants Jessica Mesca not to be online so bad. Cause she's killing her with the, um, goddamn, uh, she's killing her with the, uh, queen key queen Cobra shit. Just breezing, try to dip her toe in the queen Cobra shit is not working. And Jessica Mesk got that shit on lock. She don't like that shit. People will have to figure that she out for like themselves. That. But I just find in general the people who she come for like me, that. lie about me, try and drag me. Um, like they have skeletons in their closet that are far worse than mine or they're currently using or they're currently she probably like in jail, whatever else, you know. Um, right. It, they're weird. They're weird. You should see her wedding pics. Oh, my gosh. Her will send me them. Your past makes up who. That's the part right there. That's the part right there. Busy Lil B's private wedding pics. Damn, just brazen. You just don't know when to not be nasty. That's crazy. Why do you got this woman's wedding pics? Why? 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 <laughs> what? The dragon wasn't enough. Nah. You got to have this person's wedding. Bro, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, this shit, that's the part right there. I, I told y'all, y'all wouldn't believe what y'all about to hear. Why would you have this woman's wedding pics? Why would you even associate with anybody that's sending you something of somebody's private wedding, bro. If it ain't something that she put out there or something that she's, why do you got it? Like, and you gonna use that? <laughs> it's 
the whole church thing again. Here we go. Who you are. You should see her wedding, whatever else, you know, um, Here it, we go. they're weird. They're weird. You should see her wedding pics. Oh my gosh. Her will send me them. Your past makes up who you are, honey. Um, not if you change your life and like, you've had a good amount of time away from drugs. That's crazy. What the fuck does her wedding pics got to do with any of this shit? What, what does that got to do with any of this? Any of your beef with her? Are you back and forth? Why do you take it there? Why? What does that got to do with anything? <laughs> that shit crazy, man. She takes it there, though. I'm just telling y'all. She tries to play this innocent. I don't do nothing wrong. I'm this. I'm that. Turn around troll churches. And then have somebody wedding photos? Oh, they were sent to me. I got them. Just know that I got them. Why are you deal? Why are you associated with anybody that's sending you pictures of somebody else's wedding? Like, why is that even? Why are you? A <sighs> These people are nasty, bro. For what? You can't just talk. The talking wasn't enough for you. You have to go beyond that. And the crazy part is, the crazy part is, and I'm not saying this with me, or I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I'm telling you, one day you're going to meet the right one, and it ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go. Because people on the street or people on the internet or whatever, and you do that to the wrong person, they're not going to deal with that. on. The, they not going to do this internet back and forth that we have or other people have. If you want to drag somebody and talk shit about them, keep it on the internet. But don't go digging up their wedding photos. What does that got to do with this? She ain't digging up... She ain't digging up family photos of you and your family and da-da-da-da or a barbecue or outside or a bar mitzvah or whatever you do. She ain't digging that shit up. She's taking the shit that you put out on the internet, on YouTube, and she uses against you. That's what we do. But you go beyond that. And that's the part right there that makes you disgusting. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, yeah, well, I've I've been a saint. No, I mean, I've done some I've done I've done something, you know, outside in the girl world, like I mentioned. And and I apologize to my man, a lot. Shout out to a lot. And, and we cool and everything now. And I took photos from um, 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 Salah about a lot a lot fam. That was 100 percent. I shouldn't even done that. But. A lot was like, man, you know what? You know, and I was like, no, nah, my bad, bro. I don't even. But at the end of the day, you when you fuck up or you make a mistake, you can always come on here and be like, yo, I fucked up. I went too far. My bad. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't even went there with you. I shouldn't even had a, a thing like that with you. It's my bad. I made a mistake. I mean, he might see it like he might. He took it when we talked. He took it like, yo, man, it's all good, bro. I did this, you know, blah blah blah. I was like, no, no, no. You know, you fuck up and you make a mistake and then you come on here and you apologize for it. And some people will never forgive you for it and whatever. That's fine. But then you learn and you say, you know what? I don't want to take it beyond this. I'm going to drag you for whatever you put out on YouTube. Whatever you put on YouTube, I'm going to drag you for it. Everything outside of that, I'm going to leave that shit alone. This shit is crazy, bro. You talking about the woman's wedding? Who cares? Why is this a concern to you? And why is somebody sending you her wedding pictures? Alcohol or any type of bad behavior. I don't think so. I think when you've truly done the work to change and people can see it, that's you shouldn't still have to talk about stuff from, you know, that you've already taken care of. But if you're going to come for people and drag them on their past, I will say this. You better make sure you didn't just get arrested last year. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to play that part. But I want to play the biggest. I want to play something. And I'm going to come up with the receipts. You're going to start calling me receipts God after this one. Hold on. 
Let me see. I got it. Let me see if I got it queued up. Yeah, I got it queued up. I want y'all to see this real quick. I want y'all to see this. Just Breezing says something so crazy. I had to look it up. She was talking about garlic bread. And if Gore, me and garlic bread got our beefs and we got our back and forths, no doubt about it. But I think it was utterly disgusting what she said about garlic bread to defame him the way she did in this, in this video and what she said on her live stream. And I'm about to play it. But listen to what she says right here. Roll it. Didn't she call the cops on your mama? I don't remember. She, she's no. just fucking insane. No. No, she called the cops on garlic bread. No, I didn't. Because yeah, she didn't get no dick. No, a friendly reminder. I went and filed a police report after he was calling me repeatedly saying he had a gun to his head. So if we're going to go there, I, I think that's a valid reason to go and say, hey. Everybody in this fucking chat that's been following me and watching when I play the Just Breeze and stuff. She said that she went to the police and filed that police report because Gorlick Bread had a gun to his head. Let's go to the interview. When I asked her. Why did she file a police report on garlic bread? She never said he had a gun to his head. Receipts. Roll it. Now, we were supposed to do the interview last week on Monday. And you went to the courthouse to file a um, uh, uh, doxing order on Ryan Moody because Ryan Moody mentioned your daughter in mm -hmm. a message and you spent you went to the courthouse and and how did that go like you sat okay. in the courtroom and you yeah go ahead this is actually what happened i was on my way to the courthouse it was me my sister my nephews my daughter and my mom called and she's like you need to go to the police first and i said why and she said because they're gonna ask did you say anything did you file anything so i went and sat in a police station for hours and hours and hours and then um i had a woman cop I think I showed you guys the card last time. I'll have to yeah, get it again. Card. Yeah, you showed me Who the card. My sister, everything, you know, my mom, um, she ended up meeting us there, me, my daughter. I showed her videos. I showed her comments. I showed text messages. And basically what she did is documented everything. And she said the next step would be um, going to Pomona Courthouse and getting a temporary restraining order. If he keeps it up and keeps bothering me and keeps doxing and keeps doing stuff like that. And then if I want to get a permanent, I'd actually have to fly to fly to Maryland to get it. So it's going to be a process. So far, it's been quiet and he's left us alone. Yeah. So now, um, now, I this, was be now this was because he mentioned your daughter in a text message. He, he mentioned your daughter. So you went out there and you said he's to the court. He's doxing my daughter, you know, and he then made with, yeah. showing her. He made a video showing my daughter's name, which nobody knows on my channel. Well, now they do. But I always called her breezy junior you know yeah. and then, um, and then you went to the police station and you also you know you filed the same thing the doxing of your because you the only one that knows your daughter's name and ryan mooney mentioned your daughter's name in a text message yeah not just in a text message he showed it in his videos right so what, what, just breezing you are an absolute fucking liar you said to your audience you went down there because he had a gun to his head. You never fucking said that. You said you went down there because he doxed your daughter. That's why you went down there. That's why you filed the police report. If you went down to the police station and said a man had a gun to his head, boy, they would take it a lot more serious than what you But that's not what you even said. You told all of us you went down there because he doxed your daughter. He said her name in a in a video. And now today, today, ladies and gentlemen, the story changed. Let me tell you how disgusting that is. You're playing with people's lives when you lie like that. When you tell your audience that you went down to that police station because the man had a gun to his head. 
And then we pull out the receipt and you went to that goddamn police station because he said your daughter's first name on his video. That's why when I heard that, I said, oh, my gosh. See, when, see, Amber Lynn and Fruity Beauty's lies, they might hurt them, themselves, when they lie about diets and not eating and all the shit that they lie about. It hurts them. But just breezing the difference between you and Fruity Beauty and why you're worse is because your lies hurt other people. When you put it out in the universe that you went to the police station because a man had a gun to his head, that's that's defamatory. And it's utter, and especially when it's not true, and we can go back to the video and prove what you said is not true, is disgusting. Because that's not why you went to the police station. But you said that yesterday. And I don't even like garlic bread. I, I don't like garlic bread. I think he's a, a moron and an idiot and he does a lot of dumb shit. But I don't, I don't hope lies like this on no man. I don't appreciate anyone putting this kind of stuff out there because it it really damages, I mean, not only his character, but it's untrue. You didn't go to the police station for that. Sad, man. I just came with the receipt because that's what she said yesterday. That's what this woman said yesterday about the reason why she she couldn't even tell the truth. She couldn't even sit there and say, I went down to the I went down there to file a police report because the man docks my daughter. First name. No, he had a gun to his head. These lies, bro. I'm so if we're gonna go there, please report after. I'm getting a, she's no. fucking insane. No, no, she called the cops on garlic bread. No, I didn't. Because I mean, she didn't get no dick. No, a friendly reminder. I went and filed a police report after he was calling me repeatedly, saying he had a gun to his head. So if we're gonna go there, I, I think that's a valid reason to go and say, "Hey, I'm concerned." Nine one one. What's the emergency? Um. I was supposed to get some dick tonight and- uh So that was her valid reason. That was her valid reason for filing a police report on Gordic Bread, when that's not even true. Because the police wouldn't even handle the situation like, like that. If you went to the police station and said he has a pistol to his head, the police department wouldn't have handled it the way they did. That's how we already, and plus when we had a conversation about it, that was never mentioned. That was never talked about. Nowhere when that happened, you went to the police station. You never mentioned the fact that you went down there because he had a pistol to his head. Never. Now the story changed. And you thought nobody would catch that. See, if I was Gorlick, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you lying like this? You just making up stories? You just going around the internet telling lies. You gonna have to start proving that stuff. Hey ma'am, you gonna have to start. You can't be lying like this. It's crazy. We know what you went there for. You DM'd me about why you was at the she was at the police station with the card and told me I'm at the police station right now. Gordic Bread docks my daughter's first name. And I was like, what? And I said, damn, you over here taking police resources because the man said your daughter's first name. Look at the receipt. Look at it. What, what, I, what, I'm not now, boxing family. I know stuff about him that like really would get, yeah. <laughs> really would get offline. But like to bring up my daughter who's 10, like why did you need to keep her name in that video? Like it's just crazy. He doxed my name once before too when the Jessica stuff came out and he said that, you know, he – he apologized to Jennifer because he didn't, or he forgot to break off the relationship. He docks my name. Nobody knew I, my name was Jennifer until he did that. Now, so. I, now, I, now, doxing your name, your 
He just said Jennifer. <laughs> That's crazy. I looked up the now I look up a lot of the doxing because YouTube and everybody, mm -hmm. this whole doxing thing is getting out of control. Now, a first name is a first name is not considered doxing. Uh, like a first, if you use a first last name, you're you're there. If you if you use somebody addresses, you're really there. But okay. with your daughter, though, he only said half of her name. He didn't even say her whole name. Correct. Which exactly. You see that you see she can't tell her audience why she really went to the police station because it's so stupid. And I pointed that out when I interviewed her. Make it more dangerous. Like, what if Happening? somebody tries? Look at how she sounds. He didn't even say her whole name. He didn't even say her whole right? name. Which makes it more dangerous. Like, what if Happening? somebody tries? She tried to make it seem like saying somebody's half a name is more dangerous than saying their full name. I'm, I'm just showing you the person that these morons are fucking watching. Nothing's changed. I couldn't believe she was saying that when I was interviewing her. Her half name is more dangerous than her full name? What? And he didn't even say her whole name, correct? Which makes it more dangerous. Like, what if Happening? somebody tried to... Her nickname? That Yes, he knew that. Saying somebody's nickname is dangerous, and I need to go to a police station to file a report. Listen to that, chat. Listen to that. Saying a nickname. <sighs> People watch this person. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. And that makes it more. Her nickname that. Yes, he knew that. And that makes it more dangerous. So if. My daughter's waiting outside how, of school. How, how because, can somebody hey, find your daughter with her nick nickname? It makes it, first of all, my daughter is now online. People know her name now online. You don't think that that's dangerous, that somebody knows a child's nickname. Somebody can show up to a school and say, Even watching this today, it just, my, my brain... I can't even comprehend how a person could literally be on the earth this dumb. Like, I just can't even believe. I didn't even know people like this existed. You got to understand that. Even right now, listen to this. I'm just like. You had to see me in a moment. I was just I was blown away. She's talking about a nickname. is crazy my daughter is now online people know her name now online you don't think that that's dangerous that somebody knows a child's nickname somebody can show up to a school and say hey let's say her nickname is breezy jr and that's really her name hey breezy jr i know your mom or else like it's just creepy to me it's weird and like i don't know if you have kids but if you don't want to qualify as doxing fine but it's still morally wrong and it's effed up like if you don't want to call it doxing fine but it's morally wrong so if it's morally wrong, then why are you going to the police station filing a report? But now the story's changed. Now the story is she went down there because he had a gun to his head. At this point, this person is just sick. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Just don't know what else to say. Because when I was watching her watch um, Queen Cobra, and she mentioned that, I said, where the fuck did she get that from? <sighs> mm. Zero. Nobody knew her name. Why do that? Okay. So you went to the police station to file this. Now... Mm -hmm. On your, on your, um, <clears throat> on your, on your car, the police station. I got her so frustrated. <laughs> uh, she never interviewed with me again. Look at this. Look at this. When I, when I gave her them hardballs. On your, on your, um, 
<clears throat> on your corner. Um, she thought she was just going to get the softball of the year. It was going to be a friend and it was going to be a friendly old meeting between pals. <laughs> on your car at the police station. Mm -hmm. That day, I looked up that day because I wanted to say, okay, you went to the police station to file a doxing mm -hmm. on Ryan Moody on saying your daughter's half name. And I right. looked up, right. <laughs> right. Where's the where's the gun to the head part at? Exactly. What the police was doing that day. You took resources away from the police station. Are you serious? I, I, I am. Because, on, because he you know, I, I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you what was going on that day. That day, the police were dealing with off duty daughter killed in crash near that area. Three time drunk driver they had to arrest. Another person found dead by heavy rain they had to find 25 sheriffs and police recruits that morning training were all hit by suv all this was going on the police had to deal with and then on top of that you Man. go in and you take police resources away because a guy said your daughter's nickname about that i have text messages on my phone with him talking about hurting himself with guns he is not a normal person he threatens so she went there for the doxing and then she said she got text messages of him hurting himself. But you got to remember this. She also was saying the same stuff to him. When they was going back on this whole, you leave me, I'm a kill, I'm a die. I'm, you leave me, I'm a die. They both were doing it to each other. But the reason why she mainly went down there to file that report is because he said her daughter's um, half name. These people are weird, bro. These people are weird. She got mad. <laughs> and she rage quit. <laughs> oh, man, that shit was funny. She said, I ain't never going on that show again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, it's... It's really sad, bro. It's really sad that this person's going around doing that. It just doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't. And now she's just continuing doing it. It's just wild. Go ahead. You're taking it slow with Josh. How? This part. Someone told her, I think it's good. I think it's good you're taking it slow with Josh. How long have they been together? And she already wants to marry him and have kids? That's slow? Are you dragging Queen Cobra for wanting to marry and have kids with King Cobra? When you only knew garlic bread for two weeks? And you got engaged to this man? And he was about to be a bone? <laughs> the hub. <laughs> At least Queen Cobra touched her, man. <laughs> you didn't even touch this guy yet. <laughs> it's crazy. The world we live in. The bone, I'm sorry, the bonus, the bonus daughter. Are you really dragging Queen Cobra for actually touching the man that she wants to get engaged? I mean, get married to and have kids by? When you didn't even touch garlic bread and you was engaged to him, it's crazy. I'm living in a new world. The hypocrisy's out of the hypocrisy's out of this world. It's out of this world. How dare her? Met him twice. Exactly. I can't. Wait. She met the man two times. You ain't touched garlic bread and you was engaged. The nigga was coming. You got a $3,400 a month Airbnb waiting for this man to show up with his mama. Can I say that again? Can I say that again? You got, you moved out of your apartment to get an Airbnb, paid $3,400 to wait for a guy you was engaged with 
that you only known for two weeks, never met, and was coming down there with his mama you was waiting. And you want to talk about Queen Cobra moving too fast with King... The hypocrisy is out of this world, y'all. The stuff that just breathes and speaks on doesn't make any sense. You got engaged to a man you never met. I mean, I'm in the upside down. I don't even get it. She really just, she really just dragged her. <laughs> I'm just getting married. You, you getting married and having a kid with a man you, you only known for, for, for a couple of weeks. What? You was waiting in that Airbnb. <laughs> After a gorilla <gorgeous> camera. <laughs> That's crazy. When I heard that, I said, ma'am, do you not know what, remember what you did? But anyway, I like to thank everybody for joining the emergency stream. <laughs> oh, man. It's a real one. It's a real emergency. I told y'all. <laughs> The hypocrisy today was out of control on this Sunday. But I just wanted to show y'all what was happening. It's crazy. Just so much hypocrisy going on around here. It's just it's wild, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the battle. Guess Just Breezing and Busy Lil B, they gearing up for war. This was just the, you know, sample size. And I guess Bri Just Breezing is finding more time to go at Busy B now. Before, it was just one-sided. But now, I guess uh, Just Breeze and sees her numbers with the Foodie Beauty shit is just falling off a cliff. So she needs something to talk about. And Busy Bees looks like that's, she's her new target. And Busy Bees going to be talking about her. So I just wanted to update y'all on what we gonna be, what's going to be happening. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be watching the uh, King Cobra interview. King Cobra did an interview. It was... <laughs> It's wild, uh, but it was about um, Queen Cobra, and Queen Cobra lost her brains after this interview with this other woman, you know. So we'll watch that, um, give our opinions. But um, I like to, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all you guys for the super chats. I appreciate all you guys for members. I appreciate the chat, the greatest chat in the business. It ain't even close, ladies and gentlemen. I swear to God, after every stream, I go back and I read you guys' comments. You motherfuckers are hilarious. <laughs> some people, I swear to God, some people just watch my stream just for the chat, which is which makes sense. Because when I go back and I read it, I say, you know what? Now I see why people watch me. <laughs> now I see why there's just people that just watch and don't really say nothing. Because, you know, it's intimidating to get into a chat, like a chat like mine. Because, you know... Every fucking word or everything that somebody says in the chat be so fucking funny and it'd be so hilarious. It'd be like, damn, I got to come up with something good. You know, <laughs> these motherfuckers is good in this motherfucker. But so, but shout outs to the chat. Shout outs to all y'all undefeated 100%. And I really appreciate all y'all for being here on this emergency Sunday. We'll be back tomorrow. Like I said, King Cobra interview. We definitely got to watch that. Check that out. And um, yeah, we'll also watch more of um, Queen Cobra um going off and raging in her house like i said i'm not gonna raw dog queen cobra i never raw dogged pause um i never raw dogged um naked and laughing in the past the reason why i don't watch naked and laughing full is because she'll do five to six hours and in that six hours you might get 20 minutes of good um funny shit so i like to watch her cut up so We'll watch some cut up um, naked and laughing comments. She dropped now. And I want to update you guys what's going on with uh, naked and laughing Queen Cobra. Now, she dropped some shit about me. Uh, she also attacked uh, Jessica Messica and said that she was going to get a machete and harm Jessica Messica, which is disgusting and nasty. Um, and that that's just not 
just not cool, man. It's really not cool. That's just not it, especially from somebody that's unhinged like that. You know what I mean? Um, and she doesn't live too far away from Jessica Mesca, which is kind of wild. But Jessica Mesca kind of took it like a joke. But, you know, but that's disgusting. I just want to let you guys know that's going on. And, um, and yeah, uh, uh, King Cobra knows who Jessica Mesca is and doesn't want to speak to Jessica Mesca, even though just they was asking Jessica Mesca to get on panel in the interview. But, uh, yeah, King Cobra don't want no peace. No, he says if he talks to Jessica Mesca, Queen Cobra is going to end it with him, and he doesn't want to end his relationship. But we'll talk about that tomorrow because I got some real, real, real thoughts. As I've been looking and watching and studying, I really have some thoughts on the King Cobra thing that'll blow your mind and no one's talked about or no one's said what's going on and why King Cobra keeps taking Queen Cobra back. I know exactly why. And I'll tell you guys tomorrow in, in the next stream. So um, I really appreciate everybody being here. I'll see you guys next stream. It's your boy, your mama. Peace. Okay. Hello, Fifi. If you rub their gooch, they fall asleep. I ain't rubbing nobody's gooch. Nah, ha. Nah. So you lost 33 pounds. Mm hmm. So did your penis grow? Um. Do you like it? Ooh, I'm out of breath, honey. Seventy-two dollar truck. Okay. There's a lot more where that came from. What, bitch? Shut the fuck up. Talk about what? You're trash. You put the camera on and let's Huss? see what you fucking Huss? look like, you fucking bitch. Huss. Money, God, I miss Gianni. Kenneth Cole, Michael Kors, miss you fat fuck.